And now, and now making, making his, his very, very long-awaited long comeback, comeback and, finally and finally doing the video, video he promised he would do two months ago, months ago and he's so he's fucking incompetent, he's finally he's doing it now, now in the middle of August. A ratty. Fuck no, baby. Bruh. Bruh. Please stop, everyone. You guys are, you're too nice. Y'all are too nice. Stop. It is great to be back. Sorry for a little bit of a hiatus and for this video to be so very long overdue, but I've already explained this on my second channel and I tweeted about it. But in case you only solely follow me on this channel, I just took a bit of a break, a little bit of a step back so I can really like, you know, chill a little and live my life a little bit outside of you know content creating and of course i've just been busy even though it's summer shocking how busy i am but yeah it's just a whole mess but i'm not gonna get into that again but yeah we are back and i guess technically there's gonna be a video before this because i totally forgot that shihyo solo is this week but yes we are finally here today doing the mid-year slash three quarters of the year photo card collection updates. I have been preparing for this video for so long and I've put a lot of time and effort into cleaning up and reorganizing my collection so that it's I guess perfect enough for this video. I did post the video on my second channel like I usually do. Well I guess it's only my second time doing it before I like go through all my binders and reorganize it with you guys just so you guys can get a little snippet of what I usually do to prepare for these videos. That was just a snippet. When I say snippet like that was just a small part of it because I had done a lot of reorganizing before during and after that video i feel like it took a grand total of like 24 hours to like really <laughs> go through all my binders and also i created a lot more collages so you'll see a lot of new collages that you have never seen before unless you watch that second channel video but before i start i wanted to say a couple of things since you know this might be your first video on my channel or your first collection video on my channel or whatever if you're new here I'm just gonna explain a little bit of things if you want to skip ahead. There's probably gonna be chapters in this video, so I guess you guys can go ahead, but my photo card collection is really huge because I am a very big multi stan. I just love collecting in general, not just K-pop either. Like I literally have been collecting so many different things since I was a youngin, because I don't know, like I'm a really big spender, a big bad spender, and I love collecting just things. I like a lot of things and yeah, it's going to be pretty evident in this video and the length of it, but I literally sat down and really like noted every single collection or binder that I have and the evidence is pretty damning on how bad this is. I mean, to be fair, I did I did split up like a lot of my collections and like groups into like multiple different formats and stuff and I'll kind of explain it throughout the video uh, in case you're new again but yeah we have my big binders my a5 binders and i have collect books that's just a little sneak peek slash overview but yeah we have i'll give examples my big binder collections my a5 binder collections my collect book collections i split them up into three different things because I don't know, I just like experimenting with different formats. In case you're wondering where I get all of my supplies, I always get questions asked. And again, if you're not new here, you already know, but I have a link in the description in all of my videos, actually. It's a card, AKA like just like a website, blog, whatever, that has the link to pretty much like, I would say 90 to 95% of like every single supply that I use in my videos and my photo card collection and even just stuff outside of my collection, just in my videos, whatever. I'll try my best to like completely update it before this video goes up, but you know, in case I don't end up doing that or in case I like miss a thing or two, if you see something and you're curious, you can just leave a question or a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it or maybe someone else can answer it for you in case I miss it. I'm really trying to not forget anything in this intro. Some general info, I've been collecting since, I guess I technically started collecting like albums and photo cards around like 20, 18? I, I, start, I started collecting albums like end of 2017 maybe and then I started collecting photo cards like end of 2018 and then I really got into it around the time I started my channel so that's like 2018 so I've been collecting for damn how long is that almost five years god damn even though I do these updates like every 
half year, my collection does change a lot. You know, obviously, like maybe I like drop some collections, I downsize, I pick up some new collections. If you like keep up with all my updates or you like watch my previous collection videos, it's pretty inconsistent. And obviously, like my collection changes a lot, whether I like change it into different formats. As someone with ADHD, shit always changes and I'm pretty undecisive and unsatisfied all the time. So things have changed a lot since, you know, my previous one, which was at the beginning of this year. So yeah, keep that in mind. I'm not like the most like perfectionist, consistent collector, I guess if you want to call it that. And yeah, okay, this intro is very, very long, I know, but I wanted to get everything out of the way. But in case I forget something, I'll just mention it later in this video. Yeah, without further ado, now is the freaking time to flip through all my binders. I'm actually so excited to show you guys my collection and just the way like I organized it for this video. And yeah, of course, I'm very proud of my collection. As stressful as it gets, obviously, like collecting a bunch of different groups and photo card collecting nowadays is just insane. I still do enjoy it and I do enjoy making content about it, which is why I'm doing it, you know? Otherwise I wouldn't be, so yeah. Okay, hopefully that's everything. I should shut up. Okay, so first we will go through all of my big binders. So like your typical uh, A4, I think it's what it's called, nine pocket page binder. I have, oh my God, I haven't even counted how many of each binders I have, hold on. Okay, so I have 20 big binders. Three of those binders are actually not like nine pocket pages, they're 10 pocket page binders, which has my New Jeans and Lucera Femme collection. And I just realized, I don't know how I just noticed this, but I recently split up my Twice binder and I forgot to decorate the second Twice binder. So fuck, okay, I have no time to do it right now, so. Y'all just have, we'll have to deal with it. But anyways, first collection I'm gonna go through is my prized possessions, my true, I don't even know what to call it, like ultimate collection that I work on the most and you guys have probably seen the most, which is my NCT slash Super M, I guess, Mark collection. Since he is my alt of ults, I try to collect as much as I can for him. And yeah, I literally have four binders total just for Mark, one of them being just for big inclusions. So here it is. Here's the first binder with the collage and I also made these like side spine collages recently because they're all like in a bookshelf and I can't really tell which one's which on the side so I made those and this decal is from Mercari Japan it was like I just searched up like NCT decal and it's like from a random seller so I just put that there okay so this binder is just my album cards so like cards that are only from like the album obviously and I do have these dividers that I, that's actual SM NCT merch. So starting with the regulate one. Here we go. Um, I guess this has kind of changed from my since my last collection update because I put the circle cards back here. But the cards are pretty much the same. Um, I pretty much reorganized my entire collection, so I can't just like silently flip through it because I kind of want to talk throughout the most. So oh yeah, sit back, grab a snack, grab a whole dinner before you guys watch this. I forgot to mention that because this is definitely gonna be a long video. Um, I actually recently bought this sticker because I could not find a trade for it because it's a fucking sticker. So I just bought that because just to get it over with. And then we have AO. I also just got this car too. It just didn't make it in time for this video. But yeah, I split it up by like one, two, seven. And then we have all of the dream cards. Recently, I the most recent air I finished is Candy because ISTJ just came out. I'm still like working on it. And these are for like the concept cards from the QR version. And then we have the yearly project ones. So yeah, this has remained the same pretty much throughout. And then they just announced the Golden Age 2023. I'm scared, but I hope it's as easy as like Universe or something. So yeah, and then we have his Super M cards. I recently put all of like the unit and group cards on this page because I just had it laying around. So yeah, and then we have his Japanese album cards. Some of these are actually like Mumo POBs and stuff, but I don't know why I decided to put them all together. And then these are the SM Town, like massive, you know, the SM Town ones. So SMCU Express, Palace, and these are fan-made cards from Child. Uh, someone gifted these to me, so I just decided to put them there. They're not official, and I know Golden Age, I mean Golden Hour is out, but I haven't seen like fan-made cards for that, so. And then I use this as like a backboard, this divider. Also ignore that. <laughs> okay, so that was just the album cards. All right, now is my first non-album um, cards 
binder. I had to split it to two binders <laughs> recently. So yeah, this is glitch mode themed. There's the side, another decal. But yeah, this binder I probably won't add anymore. This is like filled to the brim. I cut it off at some point. So yes. Oh wait, actually, I still have my hollows in here, so I'll update it just for that. But yeah, I like to put all the hollows all together because it looks so satisfying this way. I don't have every single hollow because like the Super M ones, there's like pop-up Super M ones that I can't get because they're so expensive. So yeah, and then towards the beginning of my mark collecting journey, I didn't like collect everything and I don't want to go back and collect everything because back then they didn't release as many merch items as they do now. And a lot of them are like concept cards, you know, so I don't really have a desire to like go back and collect them. I worry too much about the newer things than the past things, so I don't have time, but yeah. So in the beginning, it looks a little messy, so bear with me. <laughs> I also did reorganize my entire Mark collection on my second channel. I made a separate video for that. And I did some more reorganizing after that video too. <laughs> so yeah, this is where the pace starts to pick up a little bit, where they start to do like, you know, this is around like COVID time. So obviously that's, that's when like fan calls started to happen. And like they started to get the message that people like selfie cards over concept cards. So they did way more. <laughs> You can clearly tell like this is literally the beginning of his career and like I barely have any cards versus now having like multiple pages per era. So yeah. I pretty much try to keep like all the eras together. Just an annoying thing about like collecting Mark is Eju, the fan sign like site or whatever. They just take forever when it comes to like shipping out the cards and they always do fan calls like eras later, which is why it's so annoying to like go back and like fill in those gaps. So also I don't collect like every single card in existence. I feel like that's impossible for me. If I only collected Mark and nobody else, obviously I would try and collect every single card in existence, but I feel like this is good enough progress for me. So I have enough to worry about. Obviously I don't have like every single card. I just try to collect most of his selfie cards and then some like cute concept ones and whatever. But yeah. If you're new here, I clearly talk a lot. Just a little side notes. Okay, and then we get into this DICON craziness. I hope they stop with DICON stuff, but I feel like that's not something they would do. They would never stop, probably. Yeah, clearly I try to like theme each page, you know, so like it's like the same thing or era. And then this is where I put all of like my collab cards, so like if they collab with a brand or something. Again, I don't collect every single card, but I just collect what I can. So you can see that they had like Slow Acid and like Pink Fong, this like Lemonillo, I think it's like a instant noodle brand, Zozo Town. And then they started doing Everland collabs, which is like the bane of my existence because <laughs> it's like offline only. And then we have all of these Nature Republic cards. They're still collabing with Nature Republic. I just don't really collect as many because there's so many and they're mostly concept and kind of stopped caring. <laughs> so this is pretty much all I'm going to collect for Nature Republic. Unless it's like a really cute and cheap selfie card, then I'll try to collect them. I don't know. My Mark collection is just spontaneous. Oh. Ignore that. <laughs> the most recent edition, which is my second non-album binder, and I recently made this ISTJ collage, which I'm really proud of, actually. It's one of my favorites. If you're curious on, like, where I get these collages or how I make it, well, first of all, I make them myself from, like, extra albums that I get. And I actually did make a video not too long ago on my main channel, well, I guess on this channel, where I made, like, six collages. So if you're wondering how I make them, it's pretty much just cutting up the album and letting your creativity run wild. Watch that video if you want to see the prog pro process. This is where we start our second non-album binder. I started with Two Baddies era. And again, this, I feel like Two Baddies, no, actually it started at glitch mode, where they started going, like, insane insane with, like, the pop-ups and, like, four rounds of merch and all these lucky draws, event cards and stuff. And of course, Mark is in both 127 and Dream and pretty much participates in all of the NCT projects. So there is like always merch for him because SM drops merch for everything, including like the most like welcome to my city pop up. Like, why do they have these random pop ups? It's like so annoying. But yeah. 
I know people always think or like suggest that I can like calm down instead of complaining and continuing to collect. But again, like I do want to collect these cards. Like I do enjoy collecting mark cards and stuff. It's just like, let me complain once in a while, okay? Like just because I like to collect it doesn't mean I can't complain about how much merch, merch they drop from time to time. Let me have my moments, please. <laughs> oh my God. I sound so annoying right now, sorry. Okay, but yeah, we have AO. Again, this is all like Iju, which is just something I just, they really bother me. I hope SM stops partnering with them one day. Like they just had an AO call this past week. That's how like late they do these fan calls. It's so annoying. Okay, <laughs> the way I'm just like ranting as I'm flipping through this. Okay, but yeah, this is commas. Um, I did just get like my commas merch. I didn't open it yet. It was from a Kaddy package, but this is the last time I updated my binder. This is from the second round of the Dream Show. Oh no, it's from In Your Dream, the encore. And then they obviously have dropped a lot more, which I haven't updated yet. Oh yeah, I have this one. This is the only ISTJ card I have at the moment. So yeah, I just set up this page for it, but oh my god, ISTJ. I've been shopping for cards left and right, and I haven't even gotten through half of them, so pray for me. But yeah, that is my entire NCT Mark photo card collection. Now I will show you guys my big inclusion binder. All right, so this is my big inclusion binder for Mark because since he is like my ult of ults, I try to collect as many big inclusions as I can. I'm typically not a big inclusions binder, I mean collector in general. Like I don't collect big inclusions for like any other group because I care more and I like collecting photo cards more than big inclusions. And that's just another thing to like stress over about. So I don't really stress over it for anyone else except for Mark. But I don't collect like everything, you know, like they always drop like poster sets and like postcard sets. I don't collect every single thing that they have, not even for like album postcards. Like I just collect what I can. I put them in here. This is my candy collage with the sides. Am I showing this well? Sorry if you can't really see it well. But yeah, I recently put this in a three inch binder, but it's already filled still. So I might have to split this up, but okay. First we get into the postcards or like the two pocket page inclusions these dividers kind of suck by the way i try to collect as many like of his like album big inclusions so if it has like a postcard or something i just try and like trade for it or pull it or like buy it in a set on like mercari japan or something but if i can't then i don't really stress out about it because again i don't really care too much about big inclusions like this stuff i don't have like everything but like the fuck i don't want to collect that <laughs> these are just like what came in like sets, you know? I think these are the album things first and then we get into like the merch items. So this this is like the hollow Sandy sets that they used to do and then they switched over to like regular postcards, which is kind of sad actually. I actually really liked these Sandies and like how they consistently did it. It was kind of like a staple thing. They like sparsely do it now, but for like album merch, they don't do it anymore. They do it like these postcards. So yeah, this is what this is pretty much. So yeah, last one. Oh yeah, I they recently dropped it for ISTJ, so I bought that. And then these are like the four by six photo and like photo card sets that they do now. And then I do, I started buying like their postcard books. So like this is the beatbox postcard book. And like other postcards from like Seasons Greetings photo packs. This isn't the most organized binder, by the way, because again, I, I'm saying this for like the fifth time, but I don't really care too much about big inclusions, so I don't spend like too much time on it. It's pretty much just like what in is included in the things that I buy. These are like AR ticket postcards. That's why they have like a message on the back. And then they started including these like message cards with it too. Yeah, like these postcard books, they started doing these more frequently, I guess. So I just buy them because you get so many postcards for like 10 bucks. So why not? More. I should really put all the season's greetings things together. But it's kind of in like, 
I put these in as I get them, so it's kind of like in chronological order, if you will, which is also pretty organized. Oh yeah, this is from the AO postcard book. I'm glad that they made them this size because it fits these pocket pages perfectly. I don't know why I have this blank, these two blank pages in there. Okay, and then we move on to my bigger like pocket pages. So like four pocket and one pocket. So yeah, they always do like Polaroids sometimes. So I just put them all together. And then these are like random like merch items that come with like photo cards, you know? So I just put them here. And then I like to put all these like AR tickets together. I think it actually looks really cute. Even though I never attend these events or like watch it on Beyond Live. <laughs> I collect the merch at least. Some more random things. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> I was like, wait, twice? This is from the Festa, so that's why there's like other groups and stuff. Okay, and then these... They made this postcard book really big, so they couldn't fit in the two pocket pages, so I just put them in the one pocket pages. I know the Ultra Pro 2 pocket pages are like pretty small, but since I already have a lot of them, I just continue to use them. And a lot of my two pocket... <laughs> okay, finishing what I said before, a lot of the big inclusions fit in those pages, so I just continue to use them. But yes, there's a mask in here because this is from the Sanrio merch, and listen, I wanted to keep at least one for like my collection's sake, so that's so like silly, I know, but whatever, don't judge me. Again, why do I have this in here? Okay, and these are from like the SMCU Palace like welcome kits. I don't know why they made those posters so big. And then this is from the Commas merch. It was like, it's what the doll came in. So I just put the poster and the bag in here. You know what? It's in the back of this binder. So no one's really going to pay attention, you know? So yeah. <laughs> okay, anyways, that is my entire Mark collection. I'm pretty sure that took up like 30 minutes of this video. Yeah, that's how much I collect Mark. I know, it's insane. I guess you can just call me dedicated or whatever. I am nowhere close to finishing and I am already sweating my ass off. <sighs> okay, so now we move on to my OT7 Dream Collection. They, they are one of the groups that I collect like OT whatever for full group because they are my one of my alt groups. So I picked up OT7 Dream only for album cards obviously I don't collect like OT whatever for like any group non-album because obviously that's a lot so I did also recently split up my dream collection because I have like album and non-album stuff so this binder is just for album things but yeah this always has had a like side spine because I had these extra pictures so I just shoved them in here so yeah this that might have looked familiar These dividers suck, so I'm gonna replace them soon. I just haven't gotten them yet. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. This also, wait, actually, did I? I don't think I actually co completed Dream in my last update, so yeah. But I finished my Dream collection. Um, I think it was this year, so yeah. Now you get to see it in full for the first time, except for ISTJ because again, I'm still working on that. <sighs> I do want to finish it before Golden Age comes out because I think I'm going to collect OT7 for Golden Age 2 if it's not like too difficult because like I know Universe collecting OT7 was pretty easy but if Golden Age becomes too hard like if they do a bunch of member versions I am I don't think I'm going to do it. I hope they don't because they already announced one so I wonder if they're going to do like SM minis and stuff for that. I really hope they don't but I, I have a feeling they are going to, because it's like their thing now. But again, it's for 20 fucking members. Please, SM. <laughs> okay. Oh, and, and then I also recently added like, oh, I just skipped past two of them, but Kino photo cards, because a lot of them weren't that hard to get. So yeah, that's why I decided to pick up the Kinos as well. I'm just missing, I think I'm missing one Kino now, which is this Chisung one. Because for some reason, this card is just so expensive, so... Okay, so I lied. It's not technically fully complete. <laughs> but we're just gonna ignore that. It's just one card, so... Yeah. Sorry for the slight... What is it? Clickbait? Soundbait? 
glitch mode is when I decided to collect OT7 for Dream, by the way. That was the era where I was like, I'm gonna commit because, yeah, it was like not that bad of a journey. It was just some cards that are like really expensive, but for the most part, OT7 Dream isn't too bad. I mean, nowadays it's gonna be bad because they do a lot of versions, but like for the older ones, it's not too bad. Throwback to when there was just one version of an album. One. Or like one version set. What am I even saying? Okay, this is candy complete though. <laughs> okay, yeah, and this is where I put Universe. I'm not gonna collect OT7 for Resonance or Empathy because those cards are actually really hard to get. Like, oh my god, Resonance is such a nightmare. I, don't, I never want to deal with collecting Resonance ever again, so that will never happen. Oh my god, really? I spent all this time reorganizing my binders and I forgot to put the fillers in here. <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing, but this is for best friend ever. <laughs> Damn. How did I miss this? Okay, anyways. Yeah, that is the collection so far. I did not set up for ISTJ yet. I was gonna do it before I made this video, but I just didn't have the time to. But I will before the end of the year. Mark my words. No pun intended. Okay, this is the last nct big binder because i do have a lot of like smaller binders for nct i like nct in general okay they're one of my alt groups in general so i have a lot of stuff for them but these are like my legitimate like collections if you will but yeah this is another recent collage i made this is the introvert i think version of ISTJ and I made a cute little collage. So this is where I keep my non-album cards. Again, I don't collect like OT7 for everything. It's just if I get an OT7 set for something, I put that in, I put it in here. And then I also have like miscellaneous cards, which you'll see in a second. Oh, this is one of my old universe collages, which I think is ugly, but I don't want to throw it away. So it's gonna live there for now. Maybe I should make it like a cover for this. Ooh, I just thought of that. Okay, anyways, getting carried away. We have this glitch mode POB set. This is a best friend ever Mumo set that I had to get because it was really cute. And I did get two ISTJ OT7 sets because I thought those sets were really cute and they weren't that expensive. So those are on the way. And then we have like OT7 sets from like Season's Greetings. So yeah, this is what I mean, you know, like if it comes in a set, I'm just going to put it in here. Like their photo book stuff, some random merch things. This like matching game set was kind of a mess, so I just put it like this. <laughs> and then this is from their anniversary merch. They gave us so many like past cards, like era cards, which I think is really nice because it's kind of like looking back. We Go Up is like my favorite era, still to this day. <laughs> or I guess one of my favorite eras. Because they just have a lot of good eras. Oh my god, and D-Icon. This is the way I organized it. I know I could technically like do like OT6. Well not, I say OT7 for this binder. Obviously Mark isn't in this binder because I like to keep all my Mark cards together. So it's just the remaining six members by the way. But that this is how I decided to organize it. <laughs> Instead of like the 222 pattern. I don't know why. I do like full pages more though. So I guess that's why. All right, and then this is where we get into, like, the random cards. So if I have, like, random merch cards or whatever, like, from trading card packs, or I just somehow get extra album cards or something, I keep them in here. They're split up by members because I do buy a lot of NCT merch, and I like to keep a lot of these cards because they're so cute. And also, Geno was my dream bias, so I collected his, like, album cards so you can see, like, there's, like, resonance and stuff. And then I decided to put it in here. So, yeah. These universe cards are fake, by the way. They're like replicas, because there's no way I'm going to buy the real thing. <laughs> so yeah, by the way. That's why I have the most general cards, because I actually like collected some general things before I went to OT7. And I do have a lot of extra like dream cards like this, because... Um, oh, technically this Hedgehog card is not supposed to be here, because this is a 127 card. But ignore that. I'm not perfect. Whatever. We know. Um, I, oh, by the way, Mark hates my ass when it comes to, like, trading card pulls. I literally, I almost never pull Mark, so that's why I have a lot of, like, of the other members for these trading card sets or packs, because I never pull Mark. So I end up having to buy Mark, because I get the merch so late, and no one trades, really. I feel like a majority of the people, like, 
join group orders and stuff, but I am traumatized from joining NCT group orders, so I have vowed to never join another NCT group order ever again because I have too much trauma. Except for when it's with like my friends or something, but what am I even talking about? Just needed stuff to say while I flip through this. Okay, that's it. Okay, next up, we are going to go through my other ults of ults. I pretty much have, I guess, three ults of ults, which is Mark, Vernon, and Yunjin of La Seraphim. This is my Vernon album binder, because I recently split his up too, because my binder was getting really full. Um, oh, this one doesn't really have like a side collage or anything, because this is like a very spawn. This isn't even a collage. It's just like a sticker dump, basically. I just got bored one day. And I really liked the season's greeting concept, so I decided to make like a cover out of it. That's why it's not like the best cover. It's not like consistent. And I, this is literally cuts from like the calendar. Like, but I like it. I feel like I should decorate it the same way, like with pink stickers and stuff. But that's a problem for another day. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get into his album cards. The only era that's not complete is FML because I bought those cards from like Korea, and then I just got it in my KID package, but. It didn't make it in time for this video, so FML's technically complete, just not right now. But my Vernon collection, all of this has been the same for like the past three collection videos, I feel like, so I'm gonna go through it a little faster because I haven't really changed anything. And I know I'm gonna get so many comments of people being like, why don't you organize your collection this way or that way? You should do this layout or something, like all this wasted space. Trust me, y'all, I have thought this through. And I have gotten a lot of suggestions over the course of like three years on this channel. I've heard it all. This is just the best of my abilities, you know? So yeah, I like to see the backs of photo cards a lot of the time. So that's why I don't like do like the whole page spread out and stuff like that. I know a lot of other collectors do that, but this is just the way I like to do it. I feel like I need to state that disclaimer because there's, again, there's always like new people on my channel and people always try to like, I mean, people are nice about it most of the time, but there are some people that are, like, trying to, like, diminish my abilities, I guess, or, like, my thought process, and they're, they're like, you're fucking stupid, do it this way, because I said so. Bitch, shut up, it's my collection. <laughs> okay, anyways, not to go on another rant or tangent, some of you guys need a reality check, just saying. But yeah, that was my incomplete FML collection, incomplete. I guess for moments like these, all the backs are the same, so like there's no- I could do like the double-sided thing, but again, it's just how I want to do it. Okay, I still have not found these damn carrot version Japanese cards. I have been looking for these cards since I lived in my college dorm. That's almost three years ago and I've never found it. They're just- even for Vernon, they're still impossible to find, so I'll just cry in a corner until someone finds it <laughs> for me and asks me if I want it. I don't know. But yeah, this is my Japanese album collection. They just released another one, I think. Their best, always yours, yeah. Which I will work on later. <laughs> Vernon, actually, I'll, I'll talk about this in my next Vernon binder because there's more. Okay, this is another collage that I made recently and I, and I actually haven't showed this yet, even on my second channel video because I made this after that video. So this is from FML. This is kind of hard to do because FML's photo book is really small and I wanted to stick to like one theme, you know? So I had very limited pictures. <laughs> so this is the best I can do. That's why I added all the cute stickers and stuff. And then this is the side collage. Again, like not the best because I had very <laughs> limited pictures, but I think it's good for what it is, you know? Let me hide myself up for once. Okay, and then this is my... Oh, wait, oh, wait. actually... If you guys saw in my Mark collection, I hollow sleeve like all his non-album cards. Same with Vernon. And I recently upgraded to like Mandu Deco sleeves. If you guys noticed it, the heart and the sparkly ones. I haven't done it for Vernon yet because I was scared I wasn't going to have enough sleeves. So maybe one day I will. But for now, I'm just using these like Amazon AliExpress sleeves. <laughs> not sponsored, by the way. Not This video in general is not sponsored, but my some of the links are affiliate for my card supplies. My supplies card. Disclaimer. <laughs> for Vernon, I don't collect everything for Vernon like I do with um, Mark because I- Mark is like my only like really consistent collection because again he's like literally like my- literally the number one ult I guess you can say. Why did I just do that? But for Vernon I just collect like sporadically, you know? 
I just collect what I can during the era, and then when a new era starts, I pretty much stop. So yeah, this is where I stopped for Sector 17, and then FML's, like, still in the works. I haven't really, like, bought any Vernon cards recently, because I don't really worry about Vernon cards, really, because he's pretty easy to collect. So, like, I don't need to get it, like, right away or anything, because most of the time, his cards are manageable to get, so I kind of, like, take my time with him. Not trying to, like, diminish him or anything. Obviously, I like him, duh. <laughs> this is look like something that a person that doesn't like Vernon would do. But yeah, uh, yeah. I j the point is, I take my time. And then we have some, like, D-icon stuff. This is from his birthday box. I don't have his first birthday box thing because I didn't know it was a thing. And then once I did find out, it sold out. They, like, really made them limited for the first couple of members, and Vernon just happened to be one of those members, so... I still don't have it till this day. Hopefully one day I'll get it, but who knows. But yeah, and then some random merch cards, and then this is where we get into, like, some of his, like, trading cards. Again, I don't collect everything. I kind of want to collect all of his trading cards, but there's just so many of them. They do so many, like, different fan meetings and concerts and stuff. It's just really hard to keep up with even though again like they're not like expensive that's not really the issue it's just the amount of cards that there are is the main issue so yeah i have i think like i haven't even gotten like be the sun like that was such a long time ago and i haven't like started that yet because i've just been so busy <laughs> like see like i wanted to like get the 17s home but i couldn't get it and i don't have anything from be the sun Maybe one day I'll, like, actually work on it. Maybe my next photo card haul, I'll, I'll start getting some more Vernon things. It's just Mark has so many fucking cards. He occupies, like, a majority of, like, my photo card collection. But yeah, and then this is from his, like, solo mixtape, Black Eye, which I loved, obviously. So I collected all the cards. So yeah, that is it for Vernon. Okay, next 17 binder. This is actually the last binder on my top row of my shelf. My shelf for my big binders is split up into two. I'll put a picture right here, but yeah, this is just the top row. We still have the bottom row, my A5s and collect books. Let's guess how long this video will be. Obviously, by the time this video is going to be up, you'll know because I would have edited it, but I'm going to say right now this video is going to be two hours and 15 minutes. God damn, that's going to be long, but I don't expect anyone to watch the whole thing. So if you do, I respect you. This has my Wanu and Togem collection. I used to collect... Well, my journey with Seventeen was a long one. It's been a lot of changes. But I think in my last video, I still had Minghao. But I don't collect Minghao, like, fully anymore. Like I do for, like, Vernon, Togem, Wanu. So he's in a separate binder, because I'm really bad at letting go of cards and collections. But I didn't want to change the collage, so that's why he's still here. I really like this collage, too, so... Why change it? Literally just from two members, this binder is this full. <laughs> oh my god, I also just noticed that Togyam still has Ultra Pro pages and Wanu has the Guardhouse slash Herka pages. I'll change that someday. Okay, Wanu. He's like my second bias, so that's why he's like here. But I pretty much have all the cards complete except for FML. I'm still working on it. Pretty much my goal for all of my collections is I try to complete it before the next era. So like... If I'm like slacking and then they announce a comeback, that's my sign to be like, oh shit, finish it before the era starts. So that's when I like buy all the cards if I can't trade it for them. Because I put on my trades really late, which is such a bad like habit of me to do, but it just happens that way. I just lose track of time. Time is just non-existent at this point for me. It's just so, my schedule's just so fucked up. I just live, I just wake up every day hoping for the best. I don't live day by day anymore. I just live on my own damn timeline. <laughs> Whoa, that got dark really quick. Let's not talk about that anymore. Face the sun. Can we talk about how chaotic this era was in terms of collecting? But I pulled through. I even collected Ming Hao during this era and I completed him too. So yeah, round of applause that I collected four fucking members. If you're an OT13 collector, I seriously, I'm praying for you. Okay, and... I have a lot of Wanu's cards because I trade for him first because his cards are usually the most expensive. So I trade for him first and then I buy like the other members or trade if I can. So yeah, that's that.
And then again, I just have this habit of like separating the members into their own thing. So like if there's like, for example, like Going 17, Seasons Greetings, if there's like a OT13 set that I get, I separate like my top three biases and then I just put the rest of the members into like another binder, which you'll see in, in this video, obviously. But these are like my non-album Wanu cards that I just happen to get. Again, I don't fully collect these like non-album things for these other members. I just mainly focus on album things and then if I happen to get like non-album cards or if there's a really cute card that I want, then I get it and it goes here. <laughs> I'm mainly explaining in case this is for the newcomers, you know, I know there's a lot of people here that are like dedicated supporters, which I truly appreciate you guys, obviously. So if I sound like a broken record and I'm repeating myself, please bear with me. And I also want to like keep this content engaging, you know? not just like silently flip through these, so. Okay, now we move on to Togyam. And again, it's ultra pro, so ignore that. But I did finally buy this card because they did repress their older albums and the card was still pretty expensive because I feel like Boys B is just going to be expensive in general because it's only one card, but I bought it for not... Actually, it was kind of a bad price, but I just wanted to get it over with, so I bought that. That was the only card I was missing for my older Tolgium cards. And I finally have it. But yeah, all of this is pretty much the same. So yeah, I mean, there's no point of like changing it if there's no need to. Again, I know there's probably a better way to organize that, but whatever, this is the best way for me. You know, I'm not the one looking through all of your guys' collections and nitpicking, so don't do the same for me. Why did I just do that? What the fuck? I'm entering my delusional stage of filming where I just do whatever. Because I've been sitting on my ass for like almost an hour straight in this blaring lighting during a heat wave in California. <laughs> and just me knowing that this video is going to take so long. This is where I start to get a little like cringy, if you will. So bear with me again. Oh my god, this is not centered all the way. I have a privacy screen, so I can't really see my phone clearly. <laughs> okay, but oh yeah, I also did a lot of trading for Togyam, so that's why I have like a lot of his cards as well. Oh yeah, I'm just missing this one card because I have this card. I just didn't put it away. Wow, that's amazing because Togyam has steadily become like more and more expensive, so I usually trade for Wanu and Togyam and then I just buy all of Vernon's cards because again, he is not too shabby. And then these are like my, oh yeah, my extra Togyam cards. I don't know why this is kind of like organized differently from Manu, but whatever. It's fine. I can deal with it. Why is this leaf like popping out? Ooh, okay. Forgot about this for a second, but this is where I keep my Pusok Soon Second Wind photo cards because I just feel like it has to be like, it's just like more satisfying putting it all together like this. Because I decided to collect OT3 for it because I love Pusok Soon, I love Seventeen, I love them, and I loved this debut slash comeback, whatever you want to call it, but it's just satisfying like this. And I know, like, there's other subunits that I collected, like Toja Jung, but I didn't collect Toja Jung, like, completely, so that's why they're not like this. But yeah, anyways, I collected Pusok Soon entirely. It was pretty easy, too. Like, they, they gave us a lot of full sets, so... That's why I decided to collect it. If they didn't give us full sets, I obviously wouldn't have, but yeah. Also, Togem is my bias, so that's why I kept them here. Okay, anyways, that is it for the big binders for 17, and that completes the first row of binders. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do this video in one sitting, but we shall see. Oh my god, I, I don't know why I didn't show this collection sooner. Well, we'll finally do a girl group for you. Am I tripping or is that a bug? This is my other full group collection, which is La Seraphim. I picked them up a little after Anti-Fragile started. Wait, oh my god, I just remembered. I literally, in my last photo card collection video, I teased my OT5 collection. And now here we are, where it's like pretty much complete. Isn't that crazy? Like, whoa, again, time is just non-existent and how did I make this much progress? I don't know, but yeah. This binder, um, before I had my Muji binder, 
which I actually never showed completely in a collection update because I just got this binder. This was gifted to me by Meow Cafe Shop. Again, not sponsored, but I really do like this binder. It's a major upgrade that was really needed, so thanks. But this is what it looks like. I just used the um, Unforgiven stickers. So yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, okay. This is gonna be a test, which is pretty risky for like a big video like this. I This is gonna be the new way of how I'm gonna film. Maybe like even like storing the cards too. Someone actually su suggested this, so shout out to that comment. But it's flipped right now for me, but I'll fix it in editing, you know? Okay, but anyways, but... Now that we have this new setup, which hopefully will work, let's flip through my OT5 The Seraphim collection. It looks so satisfying in this like five pocket page. So yeah, starting with Fearless, I only collect OT5 for like album things pretty much like completely. And then I have some like OT5 like merch cards and whatever. So yeah, there's the back side of the monochrome decay. Oh my God, this is so trippy, like the way I'm filming this. <laughs> Sorry, you won't see the photo card backs though. But yeah, a lot of, I have filmed like this way before, like sideways and people complained. They didn't like that. So we're trying this out. Fragile. This was a bitch to collect, which is why like, I feel like a lot of OT5 or like just La Seraphim collectors in general are traumatized by. So like Unforgiven, we all went crazy and bought like a million extra albums and then Unforgiven ended up being like way easier. So lesson learned, it just depends on the era. If you guys didn't watch my previous storing photo card video, there's a reason why I don't have this Kaja. I do have it now, thankfully, it just didn't make it in time for this video. So sorry, it's not complete for this video, but it pretty much is complete for the rest of the things. Okay, again, it's just one card. Cut me some damn slack, you know? But yeah, Unforgiven was seriously not that bad. Like I was scared because of Anti-Fragile and also these cards are really cute. So that would tend to make it like high demand, but it was fine. Oh yeah, again, I did get this card, but Weavers didn't send me an OT5 set of this POV set, which was tragic. Then we have some like extra non-album cards. This is the target set. I don't know what to put here yet, so that's just empty for now. Okay, and then I, I guess I decided to collect OT5 for their Japanese releases, which I initially don't really do. Like, I don't collect Japanese releases for, like, a lot of other groups, pretty much just for my ults, but it ended up not being that bad, so that's why I decided to do it for um, Fearless Japan. Unforgiven Japan is coming out soon. I am a little scared to see how hard it's going to be, but I, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I think it's mainly because of, like, the pre-order benefit events and stuff that, like, make amount of photo cards in circulation really prevalent. That was a word jumble right there. Okay, Season's Greetings. This was their first and only Season's Greetings right now. Then we have like Membership and Day Off in Jeju. I don't know if they're gonna release another Jeju, uh, not Jeju, Day Off photo book because they have been doing a lot of Day Off things, but they haven't released like merch or anything. So I guess we'll see, but that was the Fear Not a merch by the way. And then these unit cards are just stray unit cards. I don't know where to put them. But yeah, I did also recently get the Fearless Japan merch, which again, I haven't opened yet. And I also got the Flame Rises merch. So that will be in future videos. Okay, so this was actually my old OT5 binder, which is from Muji Korea, I guess, because they only sell the these pages on <laughs> Muji Korea, sadly. But yeah, this is my old OT5 binder, which is very small because this is the only size that they sell. But now I just keep this for my Yoonjin non-album collection. I might change it to a Meow Cafe one because it's like better quality, but I didn't want to just waste this. So I just put it here. But yeah, I pretty much like selectively collect because like Yoonjin is a pretty difficult member to collect for La Seraphim and they have a lot of cards too. For Fearless, this is the only page I collected because I did like, get some Yunjin Fearless cards before Anti-Fragile, so they were like pretty inexpensive. And then after the popularity of Anti-Fragile, the cards went up obviously since there's like not that many in circulation. So this is all I could collect. I'm not gonna collect all of them unless I happen to stumble upon it. But that, that's pretty good, honestly. And then we have Anti-Fragile. Again, I just collected what I could since a lot of the cards are quite pricey. And then this is like a random page too. Like we have some of her like lucky draws, fear not a zone, not zone, not nada, not what? And then her other season's greetings, Polaroid. 
And then this is where we get into Unforgiven. I did join a fixed slot group order, so this is like the first batch of cards that I got. I'm obviously still waiting for the rest of the cards, but obviously it's a group order, so take some time. They did a lot of cards, and they're doing a lot of cards for Unforgiven Japan too, so I'm a little scared. I'm just hoping it's not that expensive because Fearless Japan wasn't that expensive, so I'm hoping like Unforgiven Japan is the same. Okay, last, I guess, 10 pocket page binder is for New Jeans since New Jeans is, you know, five members. Well, obviously, I really like New Jeans and their music. And you literally get like all of the photo cards with all of their like album versions and I collect all album versions. So it's like, you know, I have an OT5 collection for New Jeans because it's like pretty easy and yeah. <laughs> so that is why I have this OT5 collection. This is the binder. It's a big old mess. I think I'm going to get another one of these binders. I know again, I could get like another Meow Cafe one, but I kind of like the color of this. This aesthetic really matches really well. And they always give stickers so I can like customize it like this. The next collage will not be this messy, but I was, listen, listen, this was an angsty time. I was just bored and I just, this happened. Anyways, so now we'll go through my OT5 New Jeans album collection. Again, it's pretty much mainly for albums. And then they have some like, again, like New Jeans is just a group that's very generous with photo cards. We all know this by now. So yeah, like if I happen to get some merch items and stuff, then they also go in here. This is only for um, New Jeans and OMG, by the way. I didn't put up my Get Up cards yet. It probably won't even fit in this binder, so I'll probably have to get my second binder anyways for Get Up. But yeah, that is why Get Up is not in here, because it's their latest album, and it didn't make it in time. And then these are like the extra like QR cards and whatnot. And then I did get their Seasons Greetings, which is why they... The cards are in here. Yeah, that's it. I feel like this OT5 collection is like obviously the most like seen OT5 collection because again, like it's so easy to collect it. So you probably have seen these cards a million times. All right, back to the normal format of filming for me at least. We are back to the nine pockets with an hype in, which is a group I actually organized in that second channel video because. For a moment, I collected three members, which is, I, what is it, 01 line, 02 line? I'm bad with birthdays, but Jake, Jay, Jake's Hangun, they were my top three, so I collected them from, like, when I first started collecting in Hypen, and then I, like, slightly fell out of them, especially during, like, Manifesto era, so they just had a lot of cards, too, so I only wanted to collect Jay from now on, and then, like, Jake and Sangun like spontaneously. And then Dark Blood happened, which I really liked. So I put them back in here. So I collect these three again. <laughs> so that's why they have their own binder because obviously there's a lot of cords. Here is the collage that I made. This concept is just too good. And I really like Inhypen. So that's why it's so hard for me to let go of collections I know. But anyways, okay. Oh. Why is this in an Ultra Pro sleeve? What the hell? Oh my god, I need to change these to like Dragon Shield or something. Like, look at- they're falling out! What the fuck? How did I not notice this before? Okay, anyways, we have Jay. This hasn't changed a lot because, you know, yeah. <laughs> this is where it starts to get like complete, you know, because Manifesto was a very slow and painstaking progress process. I keep switching those words. Which is why, at for like a moment, I had a moment of weakness and I dropped Jake and J Tung. Now we're back into action because of Dark Blood. I'm almost done with Jay actually. I just need his other engine card and like his Weaver set. And then, oh yeah, one more card, I guess. But then we'll be fine. Can't believe I completed it like pretty quickly too. Because again, my rule is like complete it before their next era and they have not announced their next era yet oh yeah by the way that this is like my random like non-album cards that you'll see that's like a continuation in, throughout my collections so i don't need to explain it every time but yeah this is my jake collection it's slightly different than my J collection because there are like some cards where i only collected J for for example like the es essential edition cards those are really expensive so i just did J for that it was so evil of them to make the, make it like one out of like, what, 14 cards? So people overprice the fuck out of them, especially for Sangun. Like, it's like a high demand card. And I'm like, what the fuck, y'all? 
What is wrong with you guys? So I didn't collect <laughs> Sungun or Jake for that. I guess Jake isn't like too bad, but I don't want to. I don't want to like collect it for two members and not for one. So one is fine. <laughs> uh, I just don't think before I talk sometimes, and then after I say it, I'm just like, I really should have just shut my trap for saying that to y'all. Because some of the shit I'm saying right now, I'm just babbling. I'm literally just talking, just to talk. Okay, this is where I put all like my group cards. I don't collect every single group card there is. If I just happen to get a group card, I just put it here. Because they do a lot of group cards. And then these are like extra cards. So like, this is when I bought their first Goo Goo package. Um, I put Jake and Sungun here just so it's like a complete page. I guess. And then here I didn't put them. I don't know. It works out like this, so leave me alone. <laughs> and then if I get another OT7 set, they'll go there. Yeah. <laughs> I know my collection doesn't make sense sometimes, but it, it, it makes sense to me. And that's all that matters, because again, this is my collection. Okay, next binder, we have Stray Kids. Stray Kiss was also a collection I kind of like. It reached its highs and lows, but this is where we are at right now. So I only collect Hyunjin completely for album cards. I used to collect multiple members actually, and then I like kind of stopped for some reason. I don't know. So it just worked out that way. I do also have a lot of like OT8 sets here and there. So yeah, Stray Kiss is a group I like a lot and I have, they were like my ults at one point, you know, on this channel. And then life happens sometimes, you know? It's not that I, like, dislike or hate any groups. I feel like, again, I need to clarify that because people take things the wrong way. Anyways, this is the collage I made. That's why there's, like, OT8 because I have some OT8 sets in here. And then I also have, like, smaller binders with other Stray Kids cards. But yeah, Hyunjin is my bias, so I pretty much, like, collect him entirely. And then I recently, like, sold my Chisung collection because he was my second bias and then I decided to not collect him anymore. And then I wanted to collect like Lino and then Felix and blah, blah, blah. But they have so many past cards that it's just too much work. So yeah. But Hyunjin has like consistently been like my bias. So that's why he's in here. Some of this doesn't really make sense either. Like these are like the pre-order postcard things. I cut them into like photo card size. And then I also did that for OTA. I don't know why I have them twice in here. But listen. <laughs> Decisions were made in the past. So yeah. Oh yeah, I also recently completed 5 star. 5 star is actually so easy because there's only... Well, oh shoot, I forgot to set up for the... The digit back cards. There's only two of them, so it's not going to be that bad. But I feel like 5 star is pretty easy to collect too. So that was nice. This was like my Stray Kids ult point in my life. Where I collected all of his like Japanese and like Taiwanese cards. But then I stopped at Scars. So you'll see here, I set it up like this because I stopped at Scars. And then these are the only two Taiwanese cards I, I was able to get. I think I'm only missing um, I Am You. But that card's like, if it was impossible to get like when it came out, it's impossible to get now. Like Stray Kids, I need to flip through this first. But yeah, like the amount of like value that like Stray Kids cards get like over the course of time it's insane. Like, I, since I was a Stray Kids stand for, like, a long time, like, obviously I got these cards, like, right when they, like, came out, but, like, nowadays a lot of people are like, oh my god, this card's, like, the card. Like, this card! This is, like, dubbed as Red Lights Hyunjin, and I literally pulled this card when I pre-ordered it from Sub K, and I was like, oh, cool, I got my bias, and now, like, this is, like, such a coveted card, it goes for, like, hundreds or whatever, and I'm just like, that is crazy, like, this shit has value. If people ever try to tell you you're wasting your time with this, unless something happens, because anything can happen in this world, you know? This applies to like baseball cards, Pokemon cards, NFTs, stocks, whatever. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, you know? This shit has value to a community. There is your lesson for the day. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know. Why do I keep going on like these life tangents in these videos? Like, again, if I'm filming this shit for two hours, I have to think of something to talk about. So yeah. Anyways, this is where my OT8 sets start. This is, again, I like made like... I made these into photo card size because someone did this in the past. So I decided to like take inspo. So I did that myself. And then we have like 
the Christmas Evil pre-order photo cards. And then I did collect OT8 for like some eras, you know? So like, I, I was gonna collect OT8 from like Ordinary Forward. It's just too much. So I just did it for two eras. But yeah, I, I'm like learning to like control myself sometimes, you know? Sometimes, especially when an era starts and I really like it, that's when I kind of go insane and like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna collect OT whatever for this era. It's in the heat of the moment, but then like a month later, I'm like, okay, I should not do that. And when I don't go through with it, I'm proud of myself because now I realize I don't need to do that. Like I have some form of self-control, believe it or not. <laughs> sometimes I act out and I buy a bunch of shit and then I regret it a month later. But sometimes if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Again, another life tangent. I'm just throwing this shit at you guys. Anyways, Maxident, I did collect OT84. <laughs> And then for five class, I'm not collecting OT8 for everything, even though, again, it would be so easy because five star was so... I mean, not five star. Yeah, it is called five star. I keep getting five star and S class mixed up, but five star wasn't that bad. But again, I'm trying to like control myself. So I feel like this is good enough for me. So I only collected OT8 for these close-up cards because I think the set is really cute. And I did... It comes with a lot of cards. JYP is pretty generous in general when it comes to like album cards. And so... Yeah, and then these two are reserved for the Digipack cards because there's two versions, and I did collect, I did buy the full set for that. <sighs> that was such a mouthful. <laughs> okay, and then I used to have like miscellaneous Stray Kids cards in here, but then I recently took those out, so you'll see that later. But this is where I have like, they used to do like unit cards and stuff, so that's where these are. Like this card also, like these M-Wave cards. Y'all, they are so expensive. And like, I literally got this luckily when I got my signed CD. Throwback to when they did M-Wave signed CDs. Like that's like a thing in the past now, which is crazy. Time again, these life lessons I mentioned, they circle back. <laughs> okay, and then this is like chocolate factory shit that I got. And then seasons, their first season's greetings. And then this was like such a random set that I got from like a group order a really long time ago. So yeah, see, you guys can see like trickles of my bad financial, spontaneous, impulsive decisions sprinkled here and there over the course of the collection. But you know what? That's what a collection's all about. It doesn't need to be like this or that. It can just be whatever I want it to be. But anyways, um, this is the binder I forgot to decorate because this was an old binder for like another collection. And then I split it up and then I forgot to decorate this for this video, so I will do that one day. But this is where my twice album cards are. So yeah, ignore the fact that this is not properly decorated. I used to have a bind an A5 binder full of extra twice cards. And I recently decided to like switch over to more of like an a loose is loose the right word? Just like an OT9-ish collection, you know, from now on. So I was like, you know what, if I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna put all of my twice car extra twice cards in here. So it's more of like a loose OT9. <laughs> that is such like a not great word for this context, but that's the only one I can think of. So yeah, that's why my collection looks very different than it did before. But yeah, so like from ready to be forward is where I implement this like OT loose, <laughs> loose OT9 collection. And see, like, I did have, like, some OT9 collections here and there, so, like, twice the gram, those two sets I really liked, so I collected OT9 at that time, but, yeah. Because I, like, twice was literally, this is a story I've told so many times, but twice is literally, like, my first K-pop group that I, like, really stand, and what got me into K-pop, back into K-pop and collecting, because it happened in high school. I'm sure you can find the story somewhere, but... Yeah. So Twice is like very dear to my heart. I've liked them since right after they debuted pretty much. Like in between Like Ua and Cheer Up. So they have a lot of like, oh my god, this is not centered again. Fuck, I need to pay attention. They have a very dear like spot in my heart. So yeah, I've stand them throughout these years. So that's why like, even though I'm never gonna like fully collect OT9 because obviously at this point, as easy as they are to collect, they obviously have a rep of like being easy to collect because they give like a lot of cards, but I will never like fully collect OT9 because that's, at this point, that's too much, you know? I have other shit to worry about, so. As you can see for between one and two, like, this was an era I really liked and the photo cards are really cute and I did end up buying a lot of albums, so 
I collected OT9, like actually fully completed OT9 for this. So now that it's in like a nine pocket page binder, it's really satisfying to look at. And then ready to be, again, this is, I feel, I think this is what I'm gonna do from now on. Like I'm just gonna keep my pulls cause again, they give a lot of photo cards and then put it in this like age order thing. Or I might like want to collect OT9 like sets, you know? Like you see, this is the Digipack set. But the thing is though, like for Ready to Be, for example, Ready to Be wasn't like my favorite era and the photo cards weren't like too exciting for me personally. So that's why I never really like collected like a full OT9 set. There wasn't, I didn't really have like a favorite set, you know? So I just did it like this, but... We shall see for future twice eras. That was like a complicated mess, but that's the best way I could describe it. This was where my twice collection was, which is why this actually has a collage. But again, this binder got so full. So this is where I now keep my OT9, like pretty much like pre-order benefit sets. Cause as you know, this is a twice like thing where they give these pre-order benefit sets with each album. They started this with Twice Coaster Lane 1. At that time, I wasn't like a serious collector. I don't even think I had my channel back then, so I didn't really like have all the sets. I tried going back and buying them, but I'm still missing, I think, Lane 2, both sets, because they're kind of hard to find. Maybe one day I'll get them, but right now it's not a priority. This is a random sticker thing that I got, like, at KCON like 2016, I think. Oh my god, or 2017? I don't even know. But anyways, so yeah, this is all of the, except for Lane 2, pre-order benefits sets. Um, I'm going to flip through this quickly because, again, this is literally the same throughout all of my collection videos. So I'll just, you guys already know. And then this is their most recent era, ready to be. You can see like the progress that they went through for these cards. First they were selfies and then they were like literal like concept cards and then they changed. Now it's like these like, I like to call them iPhone shots. They're not selfies, but they take it on like a phone. And by the quality, you can tell it's taken with an iPhone. <laughs> Cause yeah, iPhone cameras are unbeatable, IMO. But anyways, okay. And these are the unit cards that came with the Digipacks. And then this was the only Twice Seasons greetings I've bought in my life, actually. And of course, this was when Chongyun was not, like, active. So I'm really sad about that. I really wish I could have, like, a Chongyun, like, filler or something. But yeah, that was just very unfortunate timing. That was not planned. And then this is from the Candy Bong Infinity. And this is where I keep all of the group cards that either are from the pre order benefit or, like, from, like, random album inclusions. They used to do like group album cards, which I kind of was annoyed at because I would always pull them. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that is my twice collection. Okay, this is my last big binder where it's dedicated to one artist because I do have like binders that are like boy group, girl group, and there's like multiple because I only collect like one person album card thing. So obviously they don't, I don't need a binder for every group that I collect. But yeah, this is Woods, who is literally my favorite soloist ever right now. And I started standing him during Colorful Trauma. So you might've seen like my smaller collection in my previous update video. I started standing him pretty late, which I am sad about. Y'all have heard the story again, if you are not new to my channel but I really do want to collect all of his cards, as many as there are, and there's not that many Woods collectors out there either. I will try. It's just a very slow progress, process, whatever. You get it. Journey. No pun intended. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the most recent collage that I made. This is my old colorful trauma collage, which I don't really like, but again, I don't want to throw it away. So it just lives back there. This is pretty simple, honestly but I do like it. So I do have like some collections complete and then for some albums, I a little bit of cards for from like my album pulls pretty much. So yeah, I have equal complete and then woods, I mean, whoops. Oh, I have whoops complete too. Yeah. I just don't have sets and only lovers left complete and like colorful trauma and booty obviously, but colorful trauma I did work on pretty recently. Oh yeah, I have the pages set up for when I get the cards, but um, 
I did work on Colorful Trauma. I'm just missing one card. I will put it up on screen because I am looking for that bitch. Like, please, if you see it or if you have it for a good price, sell it to me because I will take it. But yeah, anyways, sorry. I, I, I was so aggressive with the bitch, but he's not actually a bitch, okay? Like, you, you got to take some of my words very lightly. This is a very loose, I'm using that word again, like lighthearted channel, okay? Like, I'm never, don't take any of my words super seriously, you know? If y'all know me, y'all know me. But yeah, I don't have the cards here yet. They're still at like a warehouse. I haven't shipped them out yet. It's this concept that I'm missing the last card for. And then these are the two digipacks that I pulled because these digipack cards are, again, a bitch because they're so expensive. And then this is my Udi collection so far. I didn't put the fillers in for some reason, but it is split up by like versions. And it's still a work in progress. I might complete it soon though, depending on how much I feel like it. And then these are just like extra non-album cards that I have from like merch or like whatever. Yeah, again, spontaneous. Okay, that is my last dedicated binder. Okay, getting into this. This is technically my only boy groups binder now. Like, again, a lot of changes have been made. But this houses, well, only two boy groups. I guess I could technically just give these people their own, groups their own binders. <laughs> but whatever. So yeah, this is clearly EXO and also BTS. I just thought of this right now, but I could technically make a collage with both of them. You know, like V and Kai. But... I kind of just like to keep it like one theme, you know, like one theme is enough for me. Trying to cram two different themes, I can't handle that. But anyways, this is my Rover collage and I really am, this is probably one of my favorite collages. I'm very proud of it. Mainly because Kai is beautiful, but I can like pat myself on the back too, you know, give myself a little credit. Okay, Kai, oh, except for Exist because I haven't even opened those albums yet. Everything is complete, including his solo stuff, so yeah. This hasn't changed that much because, you know, there was a brief moment of inactivity, you know, because of all the enlistments and stuff, but EXO has been pretty active. I mean, I know Kai is currently E-worded right now, but besides that, EXIST happened and like EXO as a group, they're pretty active right now, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, now we get into Kai's solo stuff. I recently completed Rover, which is... Again, like, he's seriously, like, one of the best selfie takers, for photo cards, at least. So, it's so fun collecting his cards, because he, he serves. That's just the word to describe it. Like, why the fuck is he in the fucking military? Like, get him out of there. He served enough. And then, Pekyon, um, he's, like, my second bias, and also, I really love his solo music. So, he's, like, pretty much the only, besides Kai, he's, like, the only, like, soloist. Not soloist, solo endeavor work i collect for exo because it's really hard to keep up with all these solos and stuff so yeah <laughs> but i have like some other things here and there like i have dio's empathy and like exo sc what a life it's just like whatever you know i can't keep up with everything unfortunately as much as i would love to so yeah it's just what i what i can Okay, now we get into BTS. BTS is also another group that like kind of got me back. They were like the second group I started like fully standing. Again, this was before my channel was a thing. BTS was just, I think I started like really, I, I've, I've always known BTS, but I never started like standing them until Love Yourself, Her maybe? This was when they were like kind of getting like some attention from the US and stuff. I remember like I would just, I need to flip through this, but I remember I would just like, tune into like the AMAs or VMAs or something when they performed in America and I was like yes representation anyways why am I getting like sentimental over this but yeah V is my bias so I collected all of his Korean cards and then I keep all of his like solo endeavor cards and whatnot he is releasing his solo so obviously I'm gonna put it in here and then for like the other BTS members I have like their own is this a hair I don't even know where that was but I got rid of it that's Drake. Embarrassing. Yeah, that. Okay, and then I also keep his like other solo things. So like the icon and like um, this was when I went to Vegas and I actually traded someone for this, but good memories with that. There's, please watch that video. Like honestly, I'm so proud of that video and it low-key flopped on this channel. It's when I took a road trip to see BTS in Vegas. And yeah, like it was literally like an actual like travel vlog. Like it was so much fun. I have like such 
that I actually literally have like such good memories with that so please watch it if you have the chance I will like card it or something but yeah anyways okay this was again like y'all you gotta keep in mind like when you first get into collecting obviously you don't know that much and obviously now it's easy to like access resources but back then it wasn't so my collections were very random and not organized so I have like random cards here and there that I like to keep Chungook is like my second bias so I just like kept these cards and I collected OT7 for this set oh my god I remember when this happened this era yeah I have like vivid memories here and there <laughs> and then these are like random um OT7 sets you know minus V because I again I like separate the member I need to stop explaining myself okay and then all of these icon custom like 101 cards y'all have probably seen this a million times so this is just the way I organized it because I still do love BTS they are dear in my heart still even though they're not like my alt alt group or something I still love them and their music that's why I still like support them in like their solo endeavors and stuff and like I try to keep up as much as I can okay these are like all the group cards and then like bigger inclusions and things you can see i have like some of like the rare not rare what is this called it eh, like the limited things you know i actually did pull this one too as well as the answer lenti and then yeah again like there was a moment in time where i wanted to collect ot7 for wings so i did these are like the big inclusions these fucking toothbrush cards that has tape on them because yes i went through that stage where i taped my photo cards to the wall <laughs> oh this is embarrassing again drake embarrassing yeah i didn't clean this up so ignore that okay and then we have because for some reason big hit loves to do this shit where they make these cards ginormous these are literally the bane of my existence but i want to store these in here especially these ones again i have like such good memories with that road trip you can experience it with me by watching that video it was, it was it's almost two years ago now i think so yeah anyways a lot of not nostalgia like sentimental value in that bts collection same with exo exo was an, a group i stand pretty early on too now we have my last two big binders which are my two girl group binders i recently did split them up again because i just collect so many girl groups and i also decided to put espa from an a5 binder to these big binders so that is what happened so first we have the first half which i organized it by like debut date so you know the older groups red velvet itsy and black pink that i collect are in here and then the other half are just the newer groups but this is also another one of my favorite collages if not my favorite collage that i've made which is this feel my rhythm one i just think it's mainly because the theme of this album was just so pretty so i had a lot to work with it was just it just naturally came out beautiful i'm proud of it so yeti is my bias so i did collect like all of her album cards including the kinos because they did reprint the kino so i did get like the bad boy kino and stuff which i'm happy about we love to see a much more full collection and then obviously their last comeback was birthday and then also i collected all of her palace cards because they weren't that expensive and then i also collect her japanese cards they only have three <laughs> well i guess the normal album cards right not like the pre order benefits and stuff and then this is where I put like my like solo and I like to call it solo endeavors but it's like you know solo stuff unit stuff if you will with this this is where I put it Yeti has not had a solo I don't even think she wants to have a solo she I think she's just focusing on acting so she can do whatever she wants okay I I'll support her but yeah and then 28 reasons had the most versions because again this is when SM is getting like crazy and then I collected these are the OT5 cards I collected for birthday because I collected, I mean, they had a lot of member version albums, so I bought all of them and then I, that, it's there. Oh, here's Joy too, because it was four members. Okay, and then we have random like album cards that I have. So like, I, I actually had pretty good Irene luck, so I just kept these cards because they're so, like, look at these cards, gorgeous. And then we have like random sets. And this is where I keep my Got the Beat like, red velvet member stuff like when it comes to things like you know super m or like got the beat or something i usually like separate it by like their like corresponding groups instead of putting it all together so yeah okay anyways black pink in your area here it is jenny this was a sad moment for like two years because they didn't have anything and then born pink happened 
And then now they're back to just touring, basically. <laughs> so yeah, we had our little, like, peak there of happiness. And then YG is just... We don't know... We, I don't even know what's going to happen, you know? Obviously, they have to, like, contract stuff and whatever. But I, st I love the Blackpink girlies. I've... I've been a since debut stand. Like literally, I have another vivid memory of watching Boombaya and Whistle in my at my friend's house. I was I was there from day one. <laughs> so yeah, Blackpink's another group I like hold dear to my heart. But yeah. And then it's just like, oh yeah, these are just random like sets that I got. And then we have like their again solo endeavor cards. So, like, Rosé has her own page, Lisa has her own page, plus, like, other, like, random cards that I get of these members. And then Chisu has a lot because this is when, again, they started to go insane with the photo cards and versions. So, Chisu literally has one, two, three, and these are, like, period of benefits, too. Four. Four pages of seven just for Chisu because, again, they did a lot of cards. And that's not even including the vinyl cards. I do want to get her vinyl. I haven't gotten it yet. It actually just released. I will get it one day, obviously. This nightmare of group cards from Target. And then obviously Jenny didn't have actual photo cards, so I just put these album inclusions in here. Okay, it's a... Who I also technically stand since debut. So yeah, another group that I kind of hold close to my heart, even though, I don't know, they've kind of had a shift in their music personally. I know there's like a whole like hate train, which is so like not okay. <laughs> I love the girly still, but this is just my own personal like taste. I haven't felt as attached to their title tracks as, or the discography in general, as I did initially. But again, I still like it. I still like the music. It's just not as gravitating as it was before. For me personally, again, keyword, me personally, we all have our own opinions. I don't want another war happening in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, this is a war-free zone. But yeah, I'm, I still like collecting them though. Although they do have a lot of versions, but I did buy all of the Kill My Doubt albums. I just haven't opened them yet, which is why they're not here. Okay, random fusion cards, like non-album. I'd never really collected the units. I only collected it for Cheshire because like they were so cute, but yeah. And then my random other Itzy cards that I kept or got in sets. I actually didn't pull a single like Ryujin units for Checkmate special, but I didn't bought they were units so I just didn't bother getting any. Okay, that was also a mouthful. Now let's move on to our second and last big binder for girl groups. Yay. Okay, so obviously this binder is a lot more full because as we approach these newer generations, this is the generation where we have like a fuck ton of versions and fan calls and releases and it's just getting a lot. So <laughs> this binder is a lot more full. But anyways, this has Stacy, Espa, Ive, and and Mix. Yes. And I decided to theme this with Espa because A, I think Espa is like one of my also top groups in general. This concept was really pretty, so I used this girl's real world version as the cover. And then um, I have the most Espa cards in here because they were before in like A5 binders and then they, I had too many cards so I just decided to place them in here. I even have Espa on my nails, y'all. This is actually from the point sticker merch thing. I use them as nail stickers and they're actually really cute. So Easter egg. Okay, first group we're gonna go through is Stacy because they debuted first in this binder. They literally debuted like, what, four or five days before Espa actually, so that's funny. But anyways, my biases in Stacy are Jay and Isa, and I pretty much get my cards through like my friend who's a Stacy group orders manager, so yeah, I just help him get rid of his cards. But anyways, my rule, it was, I only collected Jay for a time being, so like her setup is different from Isa because the rules don't apply to Isa in this situation. But I try to complete like rows or like pages, you know, because they because initially they did like only two cards and then they started to do more cards. So like I would do like two cards and like a period of benefit or like period of benefits to like complete the rows and stuff. I feel like that should be a general rule for like all of my collections, but again, it's kind of too late to apply that, so yeah. Different collections have different rules. I don't know why, it just works out that way. And yes, I do have these teddy bear cards. I just haven't put them away. 
And then I haven't set up for Teen Fresh, which actually came out yesterday at the time I'm filming this. And I love it so much. So I'm excited to collect that. Okay. And then we have my Isa collection, which again, like, has a different setup in terms of like, whatever. But it works out. It's fine. I don't know why these cards are like, why are they all like all over the place? What the heck? Okay. And then we have my extra Stacy cards. These are like from like sets of cards that I get. So you can see there's like pre-order benefits and like the gift edition and whatnot. Yeah, that is Stacy. And then we have Espa, which I have so many cards for because again, like Espa is like one of my top girl groups uh, since, well, I guess not really since debut, since like next level pretty much. But yeah, Karina is my bias. So I collect all her album cards, obviously, and then a lot of her non-album cards because I really do like collecting Karina's non-album things. I don't collect everything, but if they have like merch drops, I try to buy like a couple things here and there because the cards are really cute and the merch is really cute. And also it's best to buy it retail than resale because resale is really expensive. That's my like rule of thumb for Espa. I recently moved Espa into here. It was like in my second channel video. So yeah, newly debuted in this binder. Oh yeah, I also have like her SMCU palace stuff and like oh, got the beat, which is, I'm not even gonna go through that again, bruh. <laughs> Still in the works. And then we have My World, which is the newest album. And then, oh yeah, this is for the US exclusive Walmart and Barnes and Noble. Please help me get those cards. I have cards to trade and I'm willing to open my wallet a little bit. But anyways, I also like to collect all of her holo cards like I do with Mark. So I put them all together like this, like Mark's. And then this is where we have a lot of her non-album cards. Again, it's not like I buy everything. It's just I buy what I can. Oh, this is like album or like song related release. So like dreams come true and like whatever. And then this is where I keep like all of her like random like non-album stuff. See like a lot of her cards are really pretty. So I'm glad that I like buy them when I have the chance. Season's greetings. And then this is where I have like OT4 again. It's just the remaining three members. I first put like sets of cards that I had cause it's more satisfying like this. And then if I have extra cards, I separated it by member. You'll see it, but yeah, I just have random OT4 sets because it's from merch or like albums because they did a lot of member versions for my world. So I have a lot of OT4 sets for that. Um, at this point, I should just collect OT4. But again, like I can't collect like OTX, we'll call it that, for a lot of groups because you never know how many versions they're going to do and it could get a very overwhelming. So... I try not to indulge too much. But yeah, this is where we have like it separated by members. Again, I pull like a lot of merch cards that are not Karina because Karina hates my ass. Recently, she's been showing up, but usually I never pull her because I just have like the worst buys look a lot of the times. Okay, and then next group we have is Ive. My bias sis, I guess, is Yujin. And I like kind of collect Wanyoung too. Like I pretty much collect her album cards because they're not that bad actually, as opposed to contrary belief. Her album cards itself aren't too bad. It's obviously like her like non-album stuff that's really expensive, so I don't collect that really. I just collect her album stuff. Same with Yujin, I guess, but I don't know. And then we have my remaining like members cards like I do with like my other collections. If I just have random cards, I put them here. Okay, last group in this binder we have Nmix. So I collect Lily because I love her. She's such a vocal queen and just a queen queen. Yeah. I recently completed Expergo and then I'm gonna start A Midsummer and Mix's Dream, which I haven't opened yet. So I don't have it set up or anything. And then these are the extra cards that I have for Lily. Okay, and then these I had like from the jewel case in like Katon for you. These are like extra OT, well, OT7 at the time because, you know, Jimmy's here, but I had these like set up like this because it's satisfying. And then these are just the extra cards that I have for the remaining members. Because I do like Nmix too. So yeah. 
And again, I really am bad at letting go of cards, so I never really like sell them or anything. I just trade for my biases and then I keep them because I am just a sucker for photo cards. That is actually all of my big binders. Oh my god, it's almost two hours into filming. Next, I will go through my A5 binders, but I am going to take a little break because I literally do not want to be sitting here filming for like four hours straight. So if I sound different in the next clip, that is why. So I'll be back. Or I guess for you guys in like two seconds. All right, we are back way later in the night. I am like a little quieter. It's because it's literally almost 1 a.m. My entire family's home slash sleeping. And I myself am a little tired, but we got to persevere and film as much as we can. So yeah, now we're going to go on to all of my A5 binders. I just counted and I have 20 A5 binders. I wish I was joking when I said that, but damn, didn't even notice. And so the reason why I have these A5 binders is mainly for like more maybe casual collections, if that's what you want to call it, or it's like collections where I pretty much like either just buy the albums for and trade for my biases. I don't like collect every single album card like I do with my big binder collections, so I'd rather keep it here since it's a smaller collection. And also, I really like A5 binders. I remember when I first started putting things in A5 binders, I really enjoyed it for specific collections. So yeah, there's a lot of adjustments that have happened. So even to my normal watchers, this may be new to you because I just did this like mainly off camera. So I will go through all of these. And yeah, starting off, I'll go through my, I think I have four of these composition notebook binders. These are from Luca Lab. And this one actually has now my Doyoung collection from NCT. They He used to be in two collect books, but then I realized might as well put him in an A5 binder because I feel like I'm going to continuously get more of his cards. Like, I'm not a Doyoung, like, full-on collector, but he is, like, my, I guess besides Mark, like, my 127 bias, my second bias, if you will. And I really like him and his cards. And it's pretty much, like, I get his cards not from, like, collecting or like buying the cards necessarily but like either if I pull the cards or I get it from like a group order I just I just happen to get it you know so I don't know if that makes sense but he's in this green binder because obviously this is like very neo-coded so this is my brand new Doyoung A5 binder first time I'm showing this on camera actually so yeah this time I did You'll notice in some of these A5 binders, I did like double sided, so it's kind of like a full spread. It kind of saves me on pages, and I feel like in this aspect, it looks nice. So, yeah, and I didn't necessarily put things in like exact order, you know? It's in like era order, but I put like cards that match the vibe together. That's kind of like my thing with these A5 binders. Since it's a four pocket, it's easier and more satisfying if it's like matching you know so like you can see i like really matched it so it looks nicer to me and yeah i actually have his other card for this on the way i think it's the smc version i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'll figure it out <laughs> oh wait i have a space right here so i can just scoot everything okay problem solved yeah and then we get into his perfume doja jung cards i pulled a lot of his cards actually so that's why i have quite a few of them and then as well as some like SM, SM Town cards. And these are like non album cards that I pulled. And I actually did buy another Sanrio. I bought his acrylic stand because I wanted to fill the space up. And I love Kuromi, it's my favorite Sanrio characters. So that is my Doyoung. See, you can see these are much smaller collections. All right, next up is this pink one, which says twice. This actually used to be my extra twice cards binder before I moved it into the big binder. And now this is going to have my solo endeavor or like units, I guess. So I only have Nyan in here because hers is the only one that I have. I did collect all of the cards because I really liked this era, the solo debut, and all of the cards are different, which I really like. I love the variety of it. So, and it wasn't that bad in terms of collecting. So yeah, that's it for now. But I am planning on obviously getting Chihyo solo and I'm also planning on getting Misamo. Um, since it's a Japanese release, it's like a little more difficult for me to get. I'm planning on just buying like cards and the albums from Mercari Japan since it's easier that way. There's so many cards. I'm not going to collect all of them because there's too many. And some of them are like high touch cards and whatever. So I'm going to selectively collect the Misamo cards. I think I might just get like one per member, honestly, because it's just 
really complicated, but yeah. Okay, and then the last two composition book binders that I have is for TXT. So this is actually my longest living <laughs> collection in an A5 binder. I pretty much moved everything out of the original A5 binders when I first started, except for Subin. So I honestly don't know how, <laughs> but I think it's because this binder is pretty big, so it can fit a lot of cards actually. He's still surviving in here. Maybe one day in like, I don't know, two years, I'll have to move TXT to like a big binder because like Espa, I do also keep a lot of like non-biased cards because I really like the groups. So one day it might have to move out eventually, but so far it has not outgrown this binder, which I'm surprised. But yeah, I collect all of Subin's um, album cards plus some like exclusives here and there, like that's the Target one. My most recent completion, which is, uh, what is it called? Temptation. <laughs> and then this was like, just like spontaneous. Like I was kind of in like a Subin phase, like collected a lot of his like non-album cards. I don't really do it as much anymore because again, I have a lot of other stuff to worry about and also Subin is not that cheap, so yeah but I just collect what I can. I don't really like focus on his non-album things anymore, but I kind of want to get their latest Japanese album, Sweet, because apparently that's at like Target and like they usually sell it at like American retailers, you know? So if I pull Subin, he'll go in here, but yeah. I pretty much try to focus on like album cards for my biases and then if I just happen to stumble upon some non-album cards, I get that. Okay, and then continuing on, this is still TXT. This used to be my Espa Extra Cards binder, but now it's my TXT Extra Cards binder. So I organized it by like member order. So you can see. Yeonjun is my second bias, which is why I have like the most of his cards next. And then we get into the rest of the members. Oh yeah, I combined everyone else, I guess. It's in like era and age order. So, yeah. I just realized maybe I should put some of the OT like five sets together because it's like, you know, four members left. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like sometimes I just think of these things as I'm filming, so <laughs> bear with me. And these are like the bigger cards that surprisingly fit in these pages. These are the Amifa pages, by the way. So, yeah, that is my TXT collection. All right, I'm just grabbing these randomly, but this is a binder that I did organize in my second channel video, which is my old Karina binder, and then now it's my BTS solo stuff binders. Although the photofolio isn't really solo, I mean, it kind of is, but they all did it, you know? But I just put it in here. But yeah, I pretty much buy everyone's solo things because I do love all of their solo work. And again, like BTS is one of my top groups. So I still want to like, you know, buy BTS albums while they're like slowly e-wording. <laughs> so you can see everyone is in here except for V because he's my bias and he's in, you know, my main BTS binder section. And then Jungkook obviously hasn't had a physical release yet because V is next. So yeah, this is all I have. It's just the photo folios. And pretty much, it's not like I collect all of the cards. It's either, if they if it's easy to collect all the cards, then I collect all of them. And if it's not super easy and I don't really feel like it, then I don't. But yeah, it's like a fair amount. All right, this A5 binder is my DKZ Chechan binder. I started biasing him after Semantic Error pretty evident with this keychain and whatnot but I kind of I pretty much collect all of his album cards from mom forward since obviously is, they have a lot of older cards and they're quite expensive and I don't think I really necessarily need it so oh I guess I don't have this card do I not have this card oh I thought I bought it hmm but yeah and then these are just like some of his non-album cards and like merch cards and stuff. I realize I need to double sleeve these, so another task that I didn't do while reorganizing. And then they just decided to drop a lot of Chechan things, so like you can see these are like D-icon stuff. I haven't bought Chechan things in a while. Like D-gazing aren't super active right now, but yeah. Oh my god, these are my favorite. These dog photo cards that they did for their fan meeting or fan con. And these are like magazine cards because I was really in my Chechan 
synth era, if you will. And this is like semantic era merch because I had to get it. Oh, and I also put like my Soham photo cards in here that I just got from like semantic error and his um k and k albums <laughs> so yeah kind of a smaller random collection all right and then we have my 50 50 a5 binder so obviously at the moment they only have two eras and we all know what's happening all i'm gonna say is i just hope for the best for the girls because they're going through some shit right now and they're so talented and i really do like 50 50 like i literally am collecting lt4 for like their albums mainly so here's the 50 their debut which i completed along with some this is just the blue dream media pobs because this, this is the only selfie pob set that they did at that time and then we get into cupid which i'm still working on but it's like a lower priority this will be pretty easy to finish so i'm not too worried about it and also like the state of what's happening right now i don't know what the future beholds so I'm just gonna focus on this collection for now and not worry too much. I'm obviously not gonna get the random ass beginning album compilation thing that the company's releasing because like what the fuck is that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm also waiting on a lot of like POBs for Cupid but it's with like my friend for a group order so yeah but that is my 50-50 collection and I love them and I hope they are well. This is one of those collections where I pretty much just buy the albums for and I keep my pulls. So this is Vivi's. Um, so it's like OT3. Like I just keep my pulls and it just happens to be, you know, three members. And I try to organize it by like matching sets. Like even though they're not like perfect sets, I try to like, you know, put like one per member according to the vibes along with a group card because they do a lot of group cards. So it kind of fills up the page nicely, actually. Yeah. So that was those two albums. And then this is their latest one, Various. I think I might try to, like, slow down on a couple of, like, casual album collections, though. So, like, I bought all the versions for Various. So next time I might not do that, <laughs> depending on how much I like the comeback. But, yeah, that is Vivi's. Okay, and then we have Billy. Um, I collect Shun, she's my bias, and she was a member that I used to collect like all of the album cards for and then I was like kind of like trying to like hold back on a couple of collections so I moved her to an A5 binder for that sake. These pages actually fit these card L holders so I thought I would put them in here because they're cute. Kind of random though. <laughs> and then yeah, these are like the Polaroids. And then these are like some non-album cards that I've gotten from like group orders and whatnot. And then these are like my extra Billy cards that I have. That This is a gift, so that's why that's there. <laughs> but yeah, like for example, from now on, this is their most recent era, chapter three. I pretty much just like join a group order for one album and then I just get whatever cards that I get for Shun. That's the vibe. All right, next is Kepler, which technically this is a retired collection, if you will. Um, I kind of stopped collecting Kepler because I do still like Kepler and I still listen to their music. I just don't really feel like collecting anymore. I'm still gonna show this collection though because like it was a collection in the beginning of the year, you know, in between that time. And I haven't sold the cards yet. So, <laughs> cause I, I'm so busy. I don't have time to sell cards at all, so. Here they are, but I did collect Yujin and Hikaru. They're still my biases in Kepler, and again, I still like listen to Kepler's music and stuff. I just don't feel like collecting them anymore, and that's fine. I feel like we need to, that needs to be a little more socially acceptable. If we need to let go of collections because we don't really enjoy it as much, then so be it, you know? No need to like shame, <laughs> or I guess since I'm a content creator, people like, again, assume the worst, but it's not that deep, y'all. <laughs> but these are the Kepler cards that I have. All right, and then we have my Mingi 80s collection. Doesn't the this binder like match the vibe though? I really like it. My story with 80s, if you don't keep up, is I used to collect Mingi like an 80s, but then I like kind of like slowed down a little bit because I don't know, I just kind of fell out of them for a little. So I did keep the cards still because I still like like them, but I didn't want to like continue collecting with them. And then um, I started liking their music again. <laughs> so I kind of picked them back up around this era. When was this? Uh, movements. 
So I basically didn't collect them for epilogue, I guess. These are just like extra cards that I got. This, it's just this card, actually. I don't collect all of his cards necessarily. I just buy like whatever albums I want to. So like for this album, I bought like two limiteds and like two sets of polkas, I think, because the cards were really cute this era and I loved his hair. Also, ATs has so many exclusives, like it's insane. And then, oh yeah, these are my extra cards. Oh, I didn't, oh yeah, I didn't put Outlaw yet because I just got those cards, but I bought like, I think I just bought like Platform and like one signed Hello82 album. So yeah, and then I traded for those for Minky. I just buy the albums, trade for Minky if I can, and if I don't, it's fine. Yeah, like these are my extra pulls that I had. So cute. And these are like extra 80s cards that I have. Because I still, like again, like it's not that I like hate these groups or anything. It's just sometimes I don't feel like collecting everything, you know? In an ideal world, I would, but we are not in an ideal world. All right. And then this A5 binder actually used to have Jake and Sangun for like a millisecond. And then I just turned this to my Mingi. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Mingyu. <laughs> sorry, since I just flipped through Mingyu, that was still lurking. I meant Mingyu. You suck! Um, because Mingyu was a member I used to collect, because remember when I used to collect six members of 17? <laughs> oh brother, I'm so glad I stopped doing that because right before like Face of the Sun too. Great timing, but these are the cards that I decided to keep for Mingyu because I sold a lot of his extra cards that I had, and then these are the ones I couldn't let go of since as I've stated before, I'm really bad at letting go of collections. And then like nowadays, if I like pull Mingyu, like these are my pulls pretty much from like my albums. I, if I really like the card, then I keep it. So that's my rule again. <laughs> that's like the rule pretty much. And again, like I, 17 is like one of my old groups. I really like all the members. So I try to keep what I can. Okay. And then we get into these macaron macaroon macaron binders i guess they're called um the other ones are from amazon and these ones are from aliexpress actually and i really like these binders they're like a little wider and they're a little bigger too i don't know i really like this so okay <laughs> i decided to like decorate this for some reason as you can tell i don't really decorate the inside of the afi binders i just decorate like the front with like a photo card here but I don't really feel like doing it for this binder. Cause like there's a holder right here for photos. So I thought maybe I should do that. For these types of binders, I'll decorate it like this. This was actually very spontaneous. <laughs> so anyways, this has my extra Stray Kids cards. Um, like I said, they used to be in um, the big binder, but I said I had to put them in here. So yeah, like I have like multiple biases in Stray Kids, it's bad. So here's Felix. He's like my second bias right now. So I have a lot of his cards. Like I've actually kept a lot of his cards over the years because he was like one of my lurking biases if you want to call it. So that's why I have a lot of his cards. And then we have Lino who's also like kind of like my top bias. I do like all the members honestly. Like it's really hard to pick sometimes and it's really hard to like not have any cards of certain members. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, in an ideal world, I would want to collect everybody, but I can't. <laughs> so, believe it or not. But anyways, this is Chi Sung. He, he was actually my second bias for a while, and I collected all of his album cards, and then I sold most of it, and I kept the cute ones. And then we have my extra of, like, the remaining members. I did not do this, by the way. This arrived in the album like that. <laughs> and, yeah, it's, like, album and non-album cards. It's again like it's crazy how like the value of Stray Kids cards have like gone up so much. Like apparently these cards are like really expensive and I'm like damn I got these for like when they first came out so times have changed. All right and then this binder oh it's empty. Oh, this is like such a random binder like I don't even know if this is gonna be permanent but it's in here for now so I'm just gonna show it. This is my Ming Hao if I binder. I bought this acrylic binder also from AliExpress because I saw it and I was just curious on how it looks like and how it is. And it's pretty cool. I don't think it's like super functional for collections. Like, I don't know. Something about the hinges kind of scares me. So this is just like a temporary home, but I just wanted to test this binder out. So Ming Hao was the test experiment, if you will. But again, these are my extra, not extra, my cards that I wanted to keep 
for my previous Ming Hao collection. Um, I still haven't even sold my Ming Hao cards that I want to sell yet, because again, I'm just so behind. So yeah, again, if you want to host a group order, you can like hit me up. But <laughs> yeah. And then I kind of keep some of my pulls too for Ming Hao, because the cards are really cute and I still like him. Like you can see, there's some FML cards in here that I put. And then some, oh, just three non-album cards. All right, and then this is also another like retired collection, which is why it's in this binder, because this is not really even a binder, I guess. It's like a little Sanrio A5 thing, card holder. And clearly you can't like remove or add any pages, which is why I put this collection in here, because I'm, I won't be really adding to this collection. But when I collected Eyes 1 when they were active, I collected in B because she was my Eyes 1 bias. So these are the cards that I have. Once Eyes 1 D-worded, disbanded, <laughs> I guess D-word also stands for something else. But yeah, like I kind of just stopped my collection. So this was like the stopping point pretty much. And then I also have some of her like solo work cards because I do still listen to her music, her solo music. And I get these cards sometimes. And then these are the Eyes 1 Creator Benefit set cards from One Re Reeler. I just keep these cards in here because I know like some of these members are in like other groups and stuff that I collect. But I just thought I would keep all the Eyes 1 cards in here. So this is like my Eyes 1 binder. Good mems. I miss them. Okay, the last couple of binders. These are a little silly. <laughs> Again, if you're new here, these are my Pokemon binders, and I mainly got these low-key, ironically, but also, like, they're kind of useful for, like, these, like, serious random cards. So, since I collect 17 and NCT a lot, since they're my two alt groups, pretty much, I have a lot of extra cards here and there from, like, random shit or, like, sets, and I know I could put them in a big nine pocket binder, but... I thought it would be more fun to put them in these Pokemon binders because they hold a lot of space actually. And the Pokemon design, it kind of adds to the randomness of these collections or cards, if you will. So yeah, this one is pretty much filled to the brim. I literally just bought another one. This one I got in literally today in the mail. So I haven't had the time to like split it up and stuff, but I will split up this binder into two Pokemon binders, but I just thought these are like kind of fun, you know? So I did entirely reorganize this entire binder. So this is different from the last time you've seen this probably, which is like a long time ago, if you're a frequent watcher. But this is where I store the rest of my 17 cards since I don't really have like a proper home for them. It's like where I put my extra OT13 sets that I get and like unit cards and whatnot. So I'll just like silently flip through this. Oh, also I don't have Uji for this um, Going 17 Volume 1 because um, I bought it for my friend actually and he's a Uji um, stan, I mean bias person. And so he kept the cards and then I was gonna buy his and then I never ended up doing it. <laughs> like I literally just forgot. So I don't hate him. I just never ended up getting the cards. Maybe one day I will, but it kind of ends perfectly, so I don't know. <laughs> we will see if I end up getting it eventually. But yeah, you can see there's like a lot of extra cards. I think I'm just going to mainly take out these D-Icon cards because there's just so many of them. Like, I should just flip through. You guys have probably seen these cards a million times, but yeah. Also, I put Mingyu and Hoshi in here just so the set is more satisfying. The only members that aren't in here... Oh my god, another hair. Oh my god, that's nasty. But the only members that aren't in here are Vernon, Wanu, and Togyam, who are my top three, as you've seen earlier in the video. <laughs> but yeah, this binder is so full. I don't even know how it closes. I literally filled up every single page that's in this binder. How crazy is that? This will be... Some of these cards will be moving out soon, so don't worry. All right, and then the last two Pokemon binders are for NCT 127, since obviously I collect OT7 Dream, I have their binders for them, but for my extra 127 sets, I put them in here. So again, it's pretty much like D-Icon and like sets that I get randomly. 
Oh, this is the Deicon binder. I, pretty, I pretty much split it up by Deicon. I had to give Deicon their own binder because, again, there's so many cards. And since I collect Mark for all of these things, I obviously buy it for Mark. And then I put the rest of the members in here. So, yeah. You guys have seen this before, so I'll just, like, quickly flip through this. And then this is the last A5 binder, actually. I miscounted, and I have 18, not 20. But is it because two of the binders I had were empty and I didn't know it? So, yeah, we have 18 A5 binders, which is still a lot. But this binder is for, like, the rest of my set. So these are from, like, albums. So that was from, like, I think this is, these are the Digipack cards because I got an OT9 set for the Digipacks. And then we have the QR versions, platform, whatever. AO Digipack and SM Mini since I buy all the members. And then like random merch cards pretty much. Membership. These like season's greetings things that come in full sets. They just go in here. And again, I guess it would be ideal to put them in a big binder. <laughs> but hey, you know what? This is an A5 binder. It's four since, you know, I take out marks and these are silly little collections that deserve to go in a silly little binder, so leave me alone. <laughs> this is where it kind of gets messy. It's like really random. This is like NCTU and Super M, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, I actually kind of went through that pretty fast, so I will finish filming this today. We're gonna end it off with my last format of binders, binders if you will, which are my collect books now case you're not new here or you're new here i have a vast insane collection and amount of collect books which i know some people may be like what's the point but i consider collect books to be a collection in itself there's so many different kinds and there's so many designs and stuff i just wanted an excuse to have a lot of them so these collections are pretty much like the most casual collections you will ever see. <laughs> yeah, like literally these are not like collections I will like keep up with all the time. It's just for groups because, you know, I stand a lot of groups and although I already collect a lot of groups, I also listen to a lot of groups and I like a lot of different artists and things. I'm just a multi in general. So as a big spender and collector, it's really hard for me to resist like not getting an extra album or two casually. But the thing is, I don't have to fully collect everyone, you know? So I set my own rules around here, but these are just like a lot smaller collections. As you'll see, I might have multiple collect books for some of these groups. Th this might change at the end of the year too. I mean, there were some collect book collections that already have been changed. Just keep that in mind. These are very casual, very, very casual. Also, I counted and I think, oh my God, I forgot the number. I think it was 21 collect books. I technically have seven more collect books, so like 28 total. But I'm not going to show those seven because those are like, honestly, like the most random cards I get sometimes. I pretty much get most of them from work when we get like extra cards and stuff. They, la they let us have them. So those are like completely random, but I wanted to have. And I wouldn't really want to include it in this collection video because people might be like, oh, you collect this group. Oh, like, when did you unbox this album? Like, when did you show this i didn't know like oh my god you collect this group are you gonna like unbox this album next like i don't want all those confusing questions you know just because you saw like one random card i decided to keep so but i will show these collect books that are like actually like kind of a part of my normal collection if you will what am i even saying okay anyways first we're gonna start off with sung chan um actually he was he is one of my nct biases when they were like when he was first introduced during um when was it resonance and um, obviously he like was not put in like a permanent group or units in NCT and then they took him out of NCT along with Shotaro and now he's going to be in Rise with Shotaro. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue my Sung Chan collecting journey and then I decided I wanted to stay in Rise and I really am excited for their, deb their debut and I think I will continue my Sung Chan collection so this might change again depending on like how that collection goes but this is just the nct cards that i have when he was in nct <laughs> okay so a lot of these collect books are from k-ton for you and daiso by the way some of them might be from other places daiso korea to be more specific so i can't really link most of them but i'll try to again 
But yeah, this one in particular is from Daiso Korea. But again, these are just pretty much the yearly NCT cards because um, that's all he was active in. <laughs> and also these SM Town things. So I collected what I could. It was very sparse. Yeah, this is the last thing that I collected from him, which was SMCU Palace. And soon I will collect his rise cards, which I'm so excited for. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna show these in pretty much a random order. So next up we have A Pink, which is a group I actually like grew up listening to. There's a lot of nostalgic groups in here because, you know, since I'm Korean and I've liked K-pop pretty much my entire life, I have a lot of groups that I like grew up with, you know? So nostalgia hits sometimes. But yeah, this is A Pink. I pretty much bought like a couple of like random A Pink cards here, I mean albums here and there, so those are like some of the pulls and then I bought um, the Chobom subunit because I loved it, it was so good, one of my favorite songs last year and also this concept and the cards, so iconic, so yeah there's so many of them too. And then some more random A Pink cards and this is from their most recent era, Self. These are like the K-Town for you PUBs, which are so pretty. And it pretty much fills up the entirety of this collect book, so this might be the end of it, but yeah. Okay, this one is P1 Harmony. I did start buying like a couple of their more recent albums. I didn't actually buy their most recent one. I didn't really feel the need to. See, this is what I mean. Again, super casual. It's just if I want to buy it, I'll buy it. If I don't end up buying it, then the time passes and I just won't get it. It's fine. That's what these collect books are for. But yeah, these two are my favorite eras, I would say, so that's why I bought the albums for them. And I pretty much buy like signed M-Wave albums since they always do signed albums. Like, might as well buy it signed than not signed. <laughs> so yeah, these are my pulls. I don't think I've ever traded or bought um, P1 Harmony cards. These are just my pulls from my albums. Oh, I guess I should say my biases for some of these groups. So my bias in A-Pink is NG, and my bias in P1 Harmony is Inta. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh my god, wait, I should technically put this on my Pokemon binder, but this is like my extra NCT cards. But again, I feel like that can fit in like the Pokemon binder category, so maybe I'll do that later. But yeah, you can see I have a lot of Chungu cards, because a lot of them are also from Dojejang along with like other album cards. A lot of these cards I've just accumulated over the years or they've been like gifted to me so obviously I don't want to like just get rid of them. <laughs> I want to keep them because they're gifts and they mean a lot. Okay, um, this is kind of a random collection that's a little new. Ignore the fact that this is BTS because I was going to make these charms and then I just never ended up doing that and then BTS used to be in here and then I moved them out so ignore that but okay so this is treasure technically and I did used to collect them and i said i was going to downsize um the thing is like okay i started collecting treasure since debut since i really liked their debut it's literally still my probably my favorite treasure song <laughs> till this day but then i stopped collecting them around their third mini or i guess no their first their first full album i stopped collecting them because I kind of just, again, didn't really feel the need to collect them anymore. And honestly, I don't really feel the need to collect them still, but I have really been enjoying their past couple of comebacks, actually, like starting from Chikjin, and then like Hello, and then the most recent one, Reboot. And my bias has actually changed in Treasure. I kind of have two biases, if you will. My biases are Chaehyuk and Asahi. They were kind of actually like my second, third biases, like kind of. And then they were like lurking as like potential biases and then reboot era is when i started to like really like bias them i'm not gonna really like collect treasure still i'm not gonna buy their albums or really but it's gonna be a casual collect book collection if you will for specific ones like i think the only cards i would want to get and i have already bought are like some reboot cards and then i think the second step chapter one chicken era so yeah this will fill up a little more soon I just feel like I needed to explain myself for people who are confused. But yeah, these are all the cards that I have though. It's just from uh, Hello Era, these POBs, and then this is the Kino cards because I pulled both of them. They're really cute. 
So it's just like cute cards that I would want to collect. I'll get more into that once I get the cards, but... Okay, now this one is for female soloists. So like random female solo albums that I get. And for the soloists that I like. So like Hyorin, for example. We have Ayu, Alexa. And then Yujung from... Um, oh my god, that was my... Oh, I said the A word. Oh my god, to my echo thingy. <laughs> that scared me. But yeah, anyways, from Wiki Mickey. <laughs> and then we have Choyuri. Oh, ignore that. That's blank. <laughs> Just some random cards again here and there that I get. These cards are so cute. The teddy bear. We have Huyen. Cheon. And then Somi. I did pull this card. The iconic card. I really do love her recent comeback flash. I keep calling it flash forward. Fast forward. But um, I do want to get like probably like her photo book versions of game plan. She has a lot of versions so we'll see. And then this is my Sonia Shida or Girls Generation or SNSD collect book. It's quite full since again Sonia Shida is one of the groups that I literally like my favorite group probably back then. Them and 21 were my favorites, and Sistar, and Tiara, a lot of groups, but yeah, and then when they had this comeback, I just felt the need to, oh my god, what? I always accidentally do this, like the pages get stuck together, but yeah, just some random Sonya Shida albums that I got, and cards that I got, along with like some solo things like Taeyeon, since she's like one of my biases, I'd say Soo-young and um, Taeyeon are my biases in Sonishida. And then I also did recently watch Yuna's drama with Chuno. Um, what was it called? King the Land. <laughs> I forgot the name. But yeah, and then I bought the OST for it, so I think I'm gonna put, like, the photo cards that come with it in here, because Yuna's in the drama. Okay, and then we have Ten from Wavy, since he's my Wavy bias. I don't like, I'm not going to collect all of his previous cards. I'm just going to like pretty much continue like from this point forward. So it's just Phantom. And then I have this random Hendry card that I also got. So yeah, this will be like my wavy collect book. All right, another spontaneous random collection is Tawan of SF9 because I've always liked SF9's music and then I've never really like collected them really. I've contemplated multiple times on getting some albums and then I think Puzzle was the breaking point. So I bought a lot of Tawan cards because he is one fine man. <laughs> so here's like some of his Wave of Nine cards. He takes really cute selfies too, so that's why there's a lot of quads in here. But yeah, I have been listening to SF9 for quite a while now, so I feel like it's not that surprising that I have some SF9 cards. Oh! Oh! Crap, I forgot about these. Oh my god. These are like my extra SF9 cards. I put them back here because obviously I'm going to add like more Taiwan cards in the future, so I don't want to keep like pushing these back. But there's that. And then this is my Chaehyun because I actually used to collect Chaehyun in the past. Yeah, some of these collections for the smaller binders are clearly from collections that I used to collect and I can't really fully let go of, so I keep some of the cute ones. I did sell a lot of my Chaehyun cards though, but these ones I kept or like if I like pull a lot of Chaehyun cards and I don't have a reason to get rid of them, they just live in here. Ignore the fact that like these pages are wrinkly. It's just collect books typically do that, so. And they're all sleeved, don't worry. And they have not been damaged. I don't live in like a super humid environment, so they're fine. You don't have to worry. <laughs> I fully thought I was like done, but I forgot that I had a lot of collect books on my pegboard. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my god, I'm done. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I have more collect books. This one is Hechan. Um, this is his 127 card since, again, I put my dream cards in that big binder. So these are like my extra Hechan 127 cards that I get since he's also in dream, you know, so I just kind of keep a lot of his cards as well. These are pretty much pulls. 
or like group order polls, if you will. There's still polls. Technically, the AO POB in my Dream Binder should go in here, so I'll put that in there when I have the chance. Okay, who's surprised? It's another collection I didn't fully let go of. Chongan was like the sixth member I collected. This is actually from a, a how do you pronounce it? Mutual? Moot? Mute? A mutual? <laughs> On Instagram, we met at the Face the Sun concert and they gave me this as a freebie. I love it so much. It's so cute. So I hung it. This is my extra Chongan cards that I decided to keep when I was downsizing it. And I keep some cute Chang'an cards. I'm just so weak, you know? I love... Like, you know, it's like when you pull it, it feels like destiny. So it's like, if I really don't need to get rid of it, then I don't need to, you know? Don't judge me. I know y'all do the same sometimes. <laughs> okay, this one is my Yena collect book. I feel like Yena looks so cute in this collect book. This is like so her, but... I am like an, a Yenna album collector and I keep my pulls pretty much and it's growing pretty fast so I feel like she might have to move to an A5 binder soon. I kind of low-key want to collect more Yenna cards though because her cards, she's again another idol that just really knows how to like take cute selfies for photo cards and the themes of her eras are really pretty and cute so the photo cards always turn out nice, and I really like her music, like, she's one of my favorite soloists as well. So I'm kind of tempted to get more Yenna cards, but that is a later issue. I just pretty much have Love War, because I haven't gotten my Hates XX albums yet, since I, she's another artist where I typically get my albums signed from M-Wave, because she always says M-Wave signed albums, and it's like, might as well get it signed. This has two collect books because I know I can put him in an A5 binder, probably with Mingyu, but these are too perfect to not put Hoshi in. Like, I literally bought these specifically for Hoshi. He is literally the human embodiment of a tiger, so I feel like he was meant to live in these. Hoshi is like one of my biases. <laughs> At this point, do I even have biases in 17? Like, I just freaking love all of them, so... But yeah, like the ones I really want to collect some cards for though, I keep in these collect books and whatnot. It really started around Face the Sun, as you can tell. So yeah, I just love this man. So I keep his, this. These are his selfie cards, and I put his non selfie cards in the other A5 binder. I mean, collect book because they can't all fit in here, you know? <laughs> so cute. So like his spider cards. And then, yeah, the concept ones from Weavers and this POB that I pulled. And then for this one, I have three collect books. This is like, okay, dude, just let it go. <laughs> just let it go, man. Just put them, put them in an A5 binder. But these are such cute collect books. And they're like, they like match. And I feel like the boys really fits in these collect books thematically. So I refuse. Once they, like, are bursting at the edges, then I'll move them to an A5 binder. But yeah, Sanu is my bias, so he gets his own A5 binder. I mean, I keep saying A5 binder. Collect book. Goddamn. Yeah. I pretty much started collecting, like, not collecting necessarily, just buying random cards and pulling. Um, starting with Be Awake. No, Be Aware. Whisper. <laughs> and then Roar was, like, Roar rocked my world. Let's just say that really amplified my the boys stand level <laughs> and then these are like random cards i got of tanus because they're so cute it's like oh yeah I, I forgot to mention this but it's like cute and cheap if i really like the card and it's not that expensive then i just get it so yeah i'm not gonna spend like probably over ten dollars on a sanu card and then i also oh my god this is like falling out i also collect some of his like Meta heal. So this is like one of them, the Meta heal cards, because they're really cute and they're not that hard to get. So okay, and then this one is like my bias line, if you will, because I have a bias line, believe it or not. <laughs> Again, not shocking, but I'd say Changmin is my second bias, and then my third bias is like Chuyun, and then my fourth. No, I'm not gonna go on, because <laughs> there's no point. But this is like my bias line, if you will. I don't know my excuse to put these cute cards in this collect book and i have to split it up more so that these binders collect books don't fill up too much 
Maybe I should not put the concept cards in here, but oh well. Okay, and then this is the rest of the boys members that I put. I do like all of them though, so again, it's not like <laughs> this seems like favoritism, but everyone has biases. Don't judge me. And I can't put everyone in one collect book, you know? Which is why they'll probably go to an A5 binder at the end of the year. Because I did buy fantasy albums, and they also have a lot of cards, so they will probably be evicted soon. But for this video, they live in here. All right. Y'all, we have officially reached the end. I can't believe it. This has been another hour of filming but I just laid out the last remaining collect books I'm gonna show in this video just so I can like, you know, keep track properly. Changha has been one of my favorite soloists since IOI deworded. So I pretty much try to collect like her album pretty much. I don't have all of her albums, but I, I do try to buy like, continuously buy them, you know? Even though she hasn't released an album in so long, why is no one signing her? Like, it's Changha. How can you, like, miss the opportunity to have her under your company? What are y'all doing? Or maybe she doesn't want to be. I don't know. But I miss her. I really hope she comes back soon. This one is Shiny, another group that I grew up with, so nostalgia hits. But I pretty much, like, bought, like, one album from, like, Don't Call Me, and then I bought, like, a hard SM Mini, and then I bought some, like, key solos, and then these are just random shiny cards that I ended up getting for like random things. Key's like concepts are so nice and I love his solo music so that's why I bought like Gasoline and um, Killer. But yeah, I did buy one hard SM Mini for Mino so since he's my bias that'll go in here soon. Last one is this mini collect book one. This one's actually from AliExpress and this one has... I've shown this in one video but it has G Idol because I actually used to collect G Idol albums previously and then I stopped because again I don't need to explain myself every time but yeah and then I started I still like listen to their music you know so like I, I would buy like one album here and there and then I get some like extra cards here and there so yeah that's why I have this collect book just to like put all the cards in here so yeah and then these are from I feel, I think the pink really suits them, so that's why I put them in here. And then I bought the queen version of the album from Target. Alrighty, I honestly can't believe it. We are done. We're done. All right, I'm just gonna end the video with the three different formats, but <sighs> okay, everyone, that is the end of this long movie film basically i'm like a film director right now i can put that in my resume of my entire k-pop photo card collection i guess not entire entire but like pretty much my entire collection of 2023 mid-year slash three-fourths updates hopefully you guys enjoyed this again if you watched literally the entire thing mad respect to you i don't know how you can deal with me for like two hours it's just i say this all the time but it's just insane how much my collection changes within the span of like a half of a year you know like six months it's not that long but also like i guess anything can happen it will continue to change you know as i change and grow as a human and things change in k-pop and whatever we'll see what my collection looks like at the end of this year and how much it's grown how much it's changed how much it's downsized or whatever but yeah again reminder a lot pretty much all of my supplies are linked in that card 8ratysupplies.card.co they all have links to the things that I use for my collections, if you want to know. Also for my trades and sales, I put all my supplies in there too. So yeah, if you want to know where I got something and you want to get it yourself, knock yourself out. Check out that card. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Um, I guess if you're new here from this video or like pretty recent, welcome again. Thanks for sticking around. Um, we are on the road to 100k, so I guess that's another update. <laughs> My subscriber count update, I, f I feel like I should start doing that. But I think right now we're at 89.3k, so we're so close to 90k, which means we're one step closer to 100k. What the hell? That'll be insane. Six digits, goddamn. So 
spread the word. <laughs> I'm here for y'all. Okay, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and my content in general. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video and also at the end of the year slash the beginning of next year, depending on how quickly I get that video up when the time comes. Okay, I should shut up and go to sleep. Bye.